gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. What the heck is going on? Welcome back to the Pokemon Crystal ROM hack. I think we're going with the name Crystal Legacy. It's not set in stone yet, but I am bringing it up. Um, this is the Crystal ROM hack that we have been making videos on, we have been working on. We've been doing a lot with this guy, and we're getting close. This is getting very close, actually. Um, I would say it's tough, right? I, I really don't want to put a time frame on this because I don't want to disappoint anyone, um, and I just I just want to focus on it being as awesome as possible. Um, so don't expect it to take – like, it, it's going to be out by the end of the year. Um, will it be out in the next month? It's hard to say. Cause like I said, we're just, we're fine tuning it at this point. We've got so much going well and, uh, we're just, we're going to play it again. Um, we're going to play it again. I just did a, a ton of changes. We're fine tuning it, fine tuning it, fixing gym leaders, fixing elite four, fixing stats. Um, and I think we're at the best version it's been. So with that said, we are going to start. Um, I have ran. Totodile, actually. That's your thumbnail right there. Um, so I don't want Totodile. Um, I have ran Chikorita. A lot of people have been running Chikorita because it's it's seen the most fixes. But I actually have not had a chance to run Totodile. Um, <laughs> Cinequil, um, the man right back there, you can see. Um, um, I haven't really had a, a chance to, to run it at all. And seeing as there's a lot more fire Pokemon in this game now, um, you're not so reliant on, on the Typhlosion line as the only, like, so in, for anyone who doesn't know, like, in Crystal, Gold, and Silver, you basically, like, your options for fire Pokemon are, like, Magmar in Gen, or in Gold and Silver, uh, or Ponyta, but you only get it for the Elite Four. Uh, we're also doing a nighttime run because um, I haven't I haven't done nighttime runs yet. So, if you're in the UK, this is like thematically appropriate because it's 6:30 in the UK and you know passed on in Europe, but uh, it's it's like two th it's like 1:30 on the East Coast in America. Anyway, um, so Magmar Ponyta, I guess I guess Growlithe in Crystal. There, there's not a lot of Fire Pokemon. Um, so you're very reliant on this guy, and we're gonna we're gonna try to go fast because we want to make a lot of ground this stream. Um, so you're very reliant on on Cyndaquil. Um, now there's a lot of fire Pokemon that have been added. You got you got access to uh, Slugma. You got access to Ponyta earlier. Obviously, Houndour is a, is a big addition to the early game. Um, so, so yeah, we want to make sure that Cyndaquil is still feeling good. But more so than anything, um, we've made some changes to Bugsy, and I want to see how he feels. We did a big, big, honestly, I might, we might even run uh, Ariados, because Ariados has actually seen a lot of fixes. So, anyway, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Um, we're just going to be probably streaming for the next few hours, just... Kind of getting a feel for this, getting, getting seeing where things are at. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, catch a sparrow, Ampharos with fire punch. Um, I actually think I want to run Pidgey, if you can believe it. Um, we have, dude, Pidgeot is actually in a pretty good spot now. Um, it gets extreme speed. Um, I always found that the Pidgeot line was very underwhelming. It was always outclassed by Dodrio and Pharaoh, um, but it had such it like this late like level thirty six evolution, and it was like, why is this Pokemon like, you know, evolving at the same time as a starter? But it it learns like no good moves, and its stats are kind of like middle of the road, right? So Pidgeot's been given when it evolves into a thirty six. Like it, I feel like it needed a move. And we gave it extreme speed, which is really good for it because it's a high power priority move and it gets stab bonus because Pidgeot is normal type. So it's a really good move and it adds a lot for Pidgeot. The other thing we've done is we have actually added, um, we've given it Sky Attack, but Sky Attack has been buffed. So Sky Attack in Gen 2 is a pointless move. It does 140 base power, but it's a two-turn charge. Um, what that means in reality is it is a 70 base power move. 
basically, it's just a 70 base power flying move that is only learned by Moltres. So it's just a pointless move. It served zero purpose in the game. Um, so what we decided to do is we turned it into the flamethrower, or sorry, fire blast equivalent of flying moves. So now it does 120 base power with 85 accuracy. It's exactly like Fire Blast, um, except actually it's, I guess, a little worse because it doesn't have a chance to, um, there's no chance for it to, to burn. Um, but it's still fine because it, it, it adds a really good flying move. Um, not a ton of people learn it. I don't think there's someone on this route. It, it, it's Tuesday. One of the siblings should be here. I think, I think we passed them, but anyway, we'll, we'll grab them on the way back. Um, I also, here I am, like, I want Pidgey. I, I don't even think we can catch Pidgey because it's nighttime. So anyway, I guess maybe we won't run Pidgey. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll name our guy Loser. Loser? Actually, you know what? Let's just name him Silver for once. <laughs> Let's just name him actually his name. I, I always go, like, butthead. Anyway, so Pidgeot is in a really good place. Yeah, Gen 2 Hurricane. Exactly. Um, I haven't done th that with a lot of moves, but it was it was needed. Um, no, there is that is Route 29, and it's Tuesday, so there should be a there should be a cool. There should be someone on Route 29 to give us a an item. Um, our mom is gonna. Um, no, they don't take my money, mom. <clears throat> anyway, this guy's going to want to do this thing. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's nighttime. Cause like I said, I want to do a nighttime run to catch some nighttime Pokemon. Um, I don't think I want to run Hoot Hoot. Um, We've also we've also sped that up a little bit. Um, it should go a little bit faster. Kinda think I want to run Spinarak. Um. Oh yeah. So someone asked about the experience here. Mr. Pokemon gives it to you now. Um, some people don't love that, but I think it's just a quality of life thing. You don't have to. Oh, we've also changed the color of Pokeballs. So, um, they actually kind of resemble themselves. They have different colors, basically. Um, yeah. Um, I don't. I really don't know. Wait, did I get poisoned? Oh, that's the other thing. Check out the uh, check out the custom anim the custom sprites now. It's really sick. Um, yeah, we're gonna go. We're actually gonna go heal. Um, also, I mean, oh, you should also run Onyx, dude. Actually, you're right. I would really like to run Onyx. Um, I kind of feel like Spinarak is going to be a terrible early game Pokemon. Like, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't think we've actually buffed Spinarak. So we'll see how it fares. Um. Yeah, I kind of think I do want to run Onyx. It's a really good early game wall. Um, and it then it actually you actually get Steelix in our ROM hack. So. Could be good. It was more like new gen team share. No, 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 no. It's just it's just an item. Um, experience share in Gen Two. You just put it on a single Pokemon, and it gives that Pokemon half the XP from every fight. Um, also, Ember at level seven now. Quality of life thing. Um, rip youngster Mikey. Rip, rip youngster Joey. Uh, that's not a fight, and this person's going to get wrecked. Although this person does have a slightly different team. I mean, if, if you may have seen this, but yeah. So Lediba. We wanted to give some of these bug catchers some of the new the new bugs, because it just feels weird to give them, like, Caterpie and Weedle, which are Pokemon you've seen a million times before. Um, so they've got that. I think there's a, another trainer up here that has a, a Pineco. So just, just kind of show off some of the new bugs. Oh, there's also Ghastly. Um, currently, a lot of people are putting Gengar as best in the game. I'll, I'll throw a Pokeball and we'll see what happens. How about that? 
if it if it, if it if it's meant to be it's meant to be cool um i don't know if i want to run ghastly but i'm open to the idea top percentage ratata actually has zero id ivs yeah it's it's a really bad ratata it's like a bottom 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 barrel ratata oh there's polywag um Spinarak. What else is up here? Uh, is there Bellsprout at night? I think there is. There might not be Bellsprout at night. Bro, it might just... Listen, I wanted to play a night run. You know, we might be getting forced into... Uh... Crystal ROM hack does sound funny. LOL. All poison team. I don't know about that. But the game is kind of forcing our hand. <laughs> There's our Bellsprout. Okay. I kind of think I, I think if we can run Steelix, I kind of think I'd like that. Um, there's the catch. Mm. Scyther and Yamma do not learn fly. Um, Gyarados does, though. Yeah, that's the thing with Ghastly. You're absolutely right. Is Ghastly... Like, Abra is good from the start, but Ghastly takes a bit of, of work to get good. And it's actually a... Oh, bro, that gas... Oh, my God. That's one of the better-looking sprites. That looks amazing. Also, uh, Bellsprout is so so cute with his little... <laughs> they all look really good, man. Craig did a really good job with this. Craig's kind of the man for this. Also, notice how all these Pokemon are, like, kind of adequately, adequ adequately, adequately leveled. Like, they're not... Um, like level two on the catch oh yeah so okay we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this let's, let's let's do it now a female bell sprout to get a female onyx would be would be nice um oh look at that onyx sprite hell yeah hell yeah I have not done a run with Larvitar. Um, a lot of people were really mad that I put Larvitar in the game. And I think it showed a lack of their game knowledge because people are saying, I can't believe you'd put a pseudo legendary at the start of the game. Game ruined, it's gonna break the game. And it's like, you don't know what you're talking about because, um... oh, what does Rocky come with? Oh, Hardstone, that's right. We gave Rocky the Hardstone just to boost it's cause, cause, cause rock moves. It, it's attack is really low, so I wanted to boost its rock loose. So we actually gave it something decent. Um, I kind of just want to go into this and just see what happens, you know? Let's see what Rocky can do. Because um, he does get boosted, right? And I just feel like, like, yeah. It's, it's a good early game Pokemon. Like, the Screech, like, its attack is so bad, but the Screech does a lot for it. You know, I think we, like, I think we got this. Yeah, they suck until the final form, right? So, I mean, Larvitar has all right attacks. So, and, it, you know, it gets rock moves. So it's not terrible, but it's like, you know, four, two 4x weaknesses, not great stats. First evolution is at 30. It's, it's, it, it's just like, it does not break the game. It is not a good Pokemon to run. It's just that you, you end up with Tyranitar. Yeah, weak Graveler until Tyranitar. Um, last run we did Golem. I would say Golem is still one of the best Pokemon. Like, absolutely amazing for Lance. Um, hit those Screeches. Because it has really bad attack. So it kind of, like, look how little damage it's doing, you know? It kind of needs the, the Screech just to do some, have a little bit of an output there. But nice levels up, level ups. Uh, there's also a Natu here, which I think is kind of nice, just to give a bit of diversity to this gym so it's not all Pidgeys. Um, I guess it has to be Cyndaquil here. Oh, man. Oh, man, this Natu is going to wreck us. Dude, we might lose this. We have two Poison Pokemon left, and we don't have a... Oh, no. Uh, I guess what we'll the Scary Face... Okay. Oh, we hit the poison. Bro, this Natu kind of messing me up. Like, we didn't train, right? But still. Um, 
Oh, here we do out speed. Okay, nice. Oh my god, of course we out speed. We hit the, we hit the, the yeah. See, like that's kind of nice. This is like a little variation. You know, rather than just another Pidgey. I kind of like it there. Um, Natu feels... I, a lot of people wanted Natu on Faulkner's team. And while I'm not against it, it just feels kind of wrong. Because he's, like, really a bird keeper. And I, even a Natu just feels a little, like, too out there. Um, so I, I guess we're just going to go for Faulkner, even though we're extremely underleveled. I, I'm just curious, like, if you don't... Uh, if you don't take on Sprout Tower, like, what do you kind of get, you know? Um, let's give a berry to, to Rocky as well. Yeah, let's actually do that. And then I think we'll go... Um, so Ghastly could actually come in big for this fight with the Hypnosis. bird Pokemon no but like he is like a bird he is not a flying like he is very explicitly like a bird keeper like a like a trainer of bird Pokemon he's a normal flying gym leader it's true that's true too yeah like anyway um this is very likely gonna be a loss just a heads up but like I want to try this basically okay so mud slap is coming in I guess we go Spinarak. Like, we have a really bad team for this fight. Just a PSA. That's fine. I think we go for the Hypnosis. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's an L. I'm going to say this is probably a loss. Um, yeah. So, we, we should heal on the... Oh, do you not heal? Okay, there. I was like, what? <laughs> um, okay, so really bulky. Nice. There's the mud slap. Can we hit a screech? Okay, we can hit one screech. Can we hit a second screech? Let's go, Rocky. Uh, there's the berry. Can we get all six? Can we get six lowers in? Oh, Rocky with the... Let's go, my dude. Let's go. Now, whatever whatever he does now, it's, it's fine. Oh, my God. He hits the... Look how bad this thing's attack is. Now, Noctowl is bulky, to be fair. But, like... Nothing. Like, like... <laughs> oh, also... Okay, we lose. Because Noctowl actually has a... Oh, goes for the growl. Okay. Wow, that's minus six. Look. So, the one thing we wanted to do in this is have gym leaders. Oh, shit. There it is, guys. Okay. So, like I said, I know this is, like, a lot for your entertainment, but also, like, a big purpose of what we're doing is we're just play testing right and we're, we're getting a feel for like how difficult are the gyms and so that is if you do no training no sprout tower you kind of lose that um so it's like good to know basically that 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 to me is like okay not even really though because we took a really bad team for that fight every single pokemon on our team was weak to to, to him we almost still won it like i feel like we were kind of close um, so it's like a lot of learning, right? Yeah, Farfetch'd actually would be a really nice Pokemon on his team. I won't even disagree. Um, I actually love the idea of Farfetch'd. Um, the thing is, Faulkner can only have two Pokemon. Um, it feels really weird to give him three. The progression of the gym leaders. Here's the thing. The more I do this, the more I learn, um, is how everything is connected, right? So we're going to get back to Faulkner in just a sec, but I, I'm going to give, give give the team some levels. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll get appropriately leveled for this fight. I think it should be not too bad. Um, every single piece you move affects other pieces, right? So I'll give you an example. Um, Bugsy used to have 
Ledian, Ariados, and Scyther. And after a lot of playtesting, we kind of decided... Oh yeah, this this is like a little very varies a little bit now. There's some different grass types in here. Um, anyway, uh, we decided Ariados was like a little too good. Like three fully evolved Pokemon, so a little too good. Um, we also kind of decided that we missed... Um, oh my god, that's some big damage for Ghastly. Lick is powerful because Ghastly has great special attack. And Ghost type is now special. Anyway, um, so we decided... Basically, right? Okay, so like it's, it's interesting how everything is related, okay? So you want to feature as many Johto Pokemon as possible. And so like, this is an instance of Ariados and, and the Fortress line, uh, Pineco. We had Ariados on Bugsy's team, and we had Fortress on Koka's team, who's in the Elite Four, right? So when you you try to move one thing it affects everything right so you're like okay i think Ariados is too good for bugsy okay so we'll 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 remove that and let's give him a pineco cuz that's like not super strong but you know right well now you have no representation for the Ariados line and you have uh, let's let's give the uh, XP share to Rocky. Uh, and then you have two representations of the Fortress line, right? So it's kind of like trying to find this balance. And you don't have to be perfect, but you also don't want it to be awful. Um, so a lot of moving parts is basically like what I'm trying to get at here. And what we decided is like, okay, what what can we do with Fortress, right? Like we can leave it on... This one, we can leave it on these two teams. And then, like, there's Jasmine. Jasmine, because Jasmine's steel, right? And you want Fortress or Pineco at least on one team. But now, like, Ariados isn't there, right? So it's like, how do we... Like, there's so many moving parts that you have to consider. So, like, basically what we ended up doing is we g took out Ariados from Bugsy, gave him Pineco, okay? We took out fortress from koga gave him aridos but aridos isn't good enough for the elite force so then we had to buff aridos right and so it's like all these moving parts that you have to consider um yeah so so it's it's it gets complicated if you want it to be good that's the thing when i did my very first version of this run this was like back in like, almost a year ago. This channel didn't even exist. And I was like, I just want to make my own Pokemon ROM hack for fun. Um, that was, like, a very, like, general. Like, I was like, I'm just going to add a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to, like, you know, make things easier, save people time. Because, like, I don't expect this to be, like, a serious ROM hack. And basically, like, that, like, really broad, simple approach I took ended up, like, awful awful ROM hack. Like, you just would have been like, this is ridiculous. Like, you could catch, like, 50 Pokemon before the second gym, you know? You could get all three starters. Like, I just... Uh, our Gen 1 starters, I should say. But, um, I guess we're just walking back. Uh, anyway, so, so it was, like, really bad is what I'm trying to get to. Like, it was just very, like... Like, low IQ. <laughs> because, like, it was just so disconnected like all the decisions and all the choices we were making just didn't really work together um so it kind of ended up just having to go back and like you just have to consider everything like how all the pieces work together um and it, it's quite it's quite complicated so i'm going to i think we're just going to try this again we're, we're a little bit level a little bit higher leveled um Let's just give it a go and see what happens. Yeah, so many ROM hacks are like that. So what we've been doing, like, yeah, we've been taking the time. We've been having, like, a, a, a group of playtesters trying it out, giving their feedback, make a bunch of changes. I try it out, give my feedback, make the changes, send it back to the playtesters. And we've done that. Like, this is, like, we're on, like, the third round of basically this. Um, and it's getting better, right? Because... I think the thing is, is, like, I know a lot about this game. Like, I could feel like I could, like, I could tell you, like, anything about this game. But um, there's just still a lot that is 
Oh, I don't even know. Like, there's just, there's so much. <laughs> um, and it's tricky, basically. So, we are really trying to do that fine, fine, like, fine nailing in of all the features. Um, and a big thing for me is so many of the Gen 2 Pokemon are bad. Like, um, if you watch the video I uploaded this weekend, the, the, the Elite Four video, that, like... I, I've already changed that, and I'm kind of bouncing around now to just, like, another idea, but, like, just to, to, again, reinforce how much there is to change, like, so many of you made so many amazing comments in that video where I was like, dang, I didn't consider that. Um, so, for example, like, we actually removed Koga's Tentacruel because a lot of people said, well, if you're going to give him Tentacruel, which is a Pokemon that was in Gen, that's Gen 2, 1, you should just give him Quillfish, right? But then the problem is Quillfish is really bad. Like, it has really really, really bad stats. I, th I think it was like three, 380 base stats. Um, or maybe it was like 410. But anyway, regardless, uh, I don't know what if anyone wants to list what the Gen 2 stats on, on it are. Let me know. But not great, for sure. Um, okay, that's a that's a big hit. I think I think we got this one in the bag. But anyway, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of moving parts is what I'm getting at, right? So... Quillfish had a huge buff. Um, a lot of people made a really good argument for, for Quillfish, and I was like, yeah, I, I kind of like that. Uh, we're gonna go for Hypnosis. We're gonna, we're gonna, Sleep is really OP in Gen 2. Um, it's kind of a Gen 2 thing though, so we haven't touched it yet. Um, also really love that Ghastly gets Smog, just so it can cover some normal types in the early game. Do not give him Quillfish. Uh, Hoot Hoot is in Sprout Tower, so that's why it's not, uh, that's why it's not in this gym. Based out of four, yeah. So, Quillfish got a pretty big buff. I think it's up to, like, 480. Um, the thing, and that's a more, that's one of the more drastic stat changes we've done. The thing that we're trying to make sure is that you boost the stats in subtle ways. So, like, with most of the Pokemon, it's, like, just making it a little bit better like giving it a like it's a defensive pokemon and you just give it like a little more bulk things like that um that's the key is is i don't want like to change every single pokemon you know make like meganium this like 130 speed sweeper because people are going to go in and be like what the heck like i want the pokemon to still feel kind of like how they feel to the average player um titanic says Second gen holds a very special place in my heart. Dude, if you're here, I think I think if you're here, it holds a special place in your heart, you know? Um, so yeah, that, that absolutely checks out. Oh, I can I can give that a heart. Boom. Hell yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it it I think we're all on the same page with that. Um, so you're you're not alone, man. Um also these are really cheap right now for quality of life, but we're probably gonna put them back up to their normal price. Um just, just to make playtesting easier, we've made things. Um, just because, really, I mean, potions can be used, abused in battle if you have a lot of them. But the reason I have so many is just because uh, I'm, I'm doing, we're doing our fights with no items because um, I feel like that is a. Oh, there's also full heal, heals here too. Um, yeah. We'll probably keep repels cheap though. Maybe not that cheap, but anyway, grab the miracle seed. I hate that that guy just gives Roar, because it would be very satisfying to go back there if it was, like, a good item, but it's not. Anyway, um, um, I don't know if it makes sense to have two Poison Pokemon, you know? Poison Bug is also such a bad typing. Not bad damage, though, because Poison Sting had a little bit of an increase. <laughs> just gonna be a leech life fest. So release date is not confirmed. Um, we don't have a date on that yet. Wooper's a good Pokemon. I don't know. I just don't think I love Ariados enough that I want to run it.
Oh, that's the other thing. Of 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 the Pokemon that have had stat changes, Ariados had a pretty significant uh, stat speed change. One of the few time times we actually have changed a Pokemon that it feels a little different now because Ariados used to have forty base speed and its role as an attacker is basically right like that basically renders it useless. Um, so we actually buffed it to eighty. So it's not going to outspeed everything, but it's going to outspeed slow Pokemon. And that is really one of the only times we've done that. Like, for the most part, it's like this Pokemon has really low stats, uh, but it has 90 attack, and we're going to raise it to, like, 100 just to, like, encourage that kind of theme of it being, like, an attacker. Um, and that that's basically what we've done in most cases. Ghastly actually feels okay now. Like, I feel like Crystal Ghastly... Okay. Uh, everyone gangsta till this Fisher pulls out a level 25 Goldeen. <laughs> um, well, this is, uh, this is just a coding error. So we are going to proceed to get dusted. Um, but sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> um... Oh, oh, he hits the sleep. Can we kill it? Oh, hit the paralysis. Bro, what if I just spite this? Bro, what if I just spite this? It can't hit us. <gasps> Dude. Um, All it can do is keep us confused. Okay. Uh Oh, I guess uh I guess I just have to keep licking it and it's going to keep doing that. Oh my god, how was that must have been a crit. <laughs> no, we're going to kill this Goldeen. No, the thing is I can't because it's going to give a lot of XP and it's going to kind of ruin this ghastly. Dang, I really want to kill it. And just listen. You saw I could have I could have I could have got it. Um Yeah, just we'll just let it we'll just let it finish us off cuz cuz that's going to that's going to screw up the the flow of the game. So that's really funny. Um sometimes it do be like that, ladies and gentlemen. Um Oh, I have one repel? Oh, I thought I bought a bunch, but anyway. Um Problem with, uh, actually, Onyx, it's tough. Um, oh, it was lowering my defense with Tail Whip. That's why. I, I actually didn't realize that that was like an interaction. Thanks for the passion project. Gen 2 is was awesome as a kid, but needed a lot ton of love, love and hindsight. Yeah, that's that's basically it. Like it's it's got a great frame, um, but the interior decoration is just is awful. Like it's it's like a good structurally sound building. Uh, but we just have to gut it and, and you know. Um, I also will say, personally, I think 251 Pokemon was perfect. Um, when I go back and I play Fire Red Leaf Green, there is a certain flair with the original 151 that I'm kind of missing. Um, Gen 2 adds just enough spice to the mix that it not only like diversifies the your options, but I think it also like makes the Gen One options better because there's a lot of great Gen One options, but there's no like super sick. You know, there's no like Caesar. There's no Houndoom, Tyranitar, Sneasel. I mean, I'm I'm li listing a lot of Steel and Dark types right now. A uh, Kingdra. You know, there's some even like an Ursaring. Like there's a really nice flair that gen 2 adds and it kind of like spices up the entirety of the pokemon that like you know the pokemon that's a seal the pokemon that's a bird kind of don't feel like it doesn't feel like every single pokemon's like that in gen 2 and that's something i really love i really love about these games is just uh is that basically also um i totally missed your dono show i was going to get to it and then i think we ran into that uh that that uh Oh, Rocky, Rocky is overleveled. No, no, we can't use him anymore. That's, 
Wait, really? Level 10? Huh. Okay. Anyway, um, Shoal, I need to give you a shout out for the super chat. Shoal says, Crystal is the first game I got for my fourth birthday, and Sparrow was the first Pokemon I ever caught. Dude, when I first played, okay, so I was a silver guy, but for some reason I never caught Sparrow in, in silver. Um, and my first playthrough of Crystal, I actually caught the Sparrow on Route 46, the one above the very starting route. And, uh, dude, it was like, holy, this thing is so good. It's so much better than Pidgey. Rival should run six to Raptors to match his haircut. Dude, Ghastly feels okay. Um, so Dark is now physical, and, and, and Lick, the ghost move, is now special. And because Ghastly has pretty good special attack, like, Ghastly isn't an awful early game Pokemon. It's not destroying anything, but, like, that lick is doing some decent damage, you know? Um, I don't know if I really need mean luck. Also, one Pokemon we've added to Union Cave. Because Union Cave was in a weird spot, right? Union Cave is, like, the first big cave you go through. But it's got Zubat, Geodude, Onix... Wooper. The only new Pokemon, actually, perfect timing, was Sandshrew, which is not very good. Um, it's been buffed, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't in a great spot. Um, and so, what What do we do? What do we do? Um, we added Cubone, which is actually, like, not an amazing Pokemon, but it gets really good moves, because Cubone gets three, it has three signature moves, which I don't know why Cubone got so much love, but it gets Bone Meringue, uh, all right. You just gotta hit it. You just you just gotta hit a. You just gotta hit a. a t there you go. You, you just got. There you go. Um, nice rock throw. Anyway, what I'm getting at is uh. Oh, okay. So bone meringue, bone club, and there's another one that does. It's basically got the PP of earthquake. It's a really good move, and it comes at like level 26. Um, so so not the best stats but it's a pokemon that really makes up with great moves and it's i don't know cubone is a, a, sl a small encounter here but it feels really good in union cave because again it's like i don't know there's just there's two pokemon here out like i don't know that just looks right that just looks correct bro maybe we should no we're gonna we're gonna run onyx so we won't run cubone but i'm i'm i'm, I'm tempted you know um, that guy has a Larvitar, so I actually don't really want to fight him because I don't have an answer for it. Um, oh yeah, so Vulpix and Growlithe are here because you can catch Growlithe, not Vulpix actually, but you can catch Growlithe, um, on Route 36. Houndour is also there. That's a night encounter. Just threw in an early Houndour for everyone because everyone wants to run Houndour. It's actually okay. Like, Houndour is not that good. Its stats are a little bad, so you get it and you're like, ooh, I don't know. But then it gets some better moves and it, you know, it picks itself up. Um, Hiker Anthony, bro. Always been a menace. Always been a menace. I don't think I'm ready for that fight. <laughs> we just, we don't have like a water type. I don't know. Our, our coverage is a little. A little finicky. Like I might, I might want to head to the Ilex Forest. What do we got? Venonat. Eh. Hootoot. The levels are all right here, though. We we up some of the levels. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hound our line is a glass cannon. Uh, no, no special split. Never, never ask me that question. You will be, you will be burnt to a crisp. Uh, still a work in progress. Rom, the ROM is still a work in progress. Duns the Dunce Paris is kind of random, I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. I don't know if I love this Dunce Paris. Like, it's different, but like, does it need to be different? It's like the first rocket you encounter. Very first rocket shouldn't have a done sparse Swa swap for generic rocket 
Pokemon. Yeah, like that guy should have a generic. This should be a very generic team because it's the first instance of Team Rocket. Um, I don't know. I think Spinarak is kind of getting left in the dust. I won't lie. Yeah, even like the second rocket would be fine, um, bro. If you want to hit this, if you want to hit this this rock throw, that'd be sick. <laughs> Just hit it, dog. Just hit it, easy. Um, hmm. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't, I feel really bad about this team. Like, this is like not, because <laughs> here's the thing, like we've upped a lot of stuff and, and it, it, like people are good now, you know, people like we give the player more options, but we make the game harder, right? Um, what can I catch here? What can I catch here? Yeah, I think an executive has an area does. I think you see that initially, but it's grown on you over time. For me, it's Pidgey line. Um, definitely the Zubat line. Poison Flying has four, no, three, four times weaknesses and uh, resistances. So it's a really good pivoting Pokemon because if you know a grass attack, bug attack, um, I mean, we could also go Machop. I kind of want like a Mankey over a Machop though. Oh. Okay, we're 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 here. We're doing our thing, but we're the boys are kind of struggling. Um, I just bro, you know what I kind of want is like a hop it. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, I definitely think playing through the game at night is like the worst. S set of encounters like you do get hound hour you do get oh this is yuck yuck guy he goes heck yuck if we better, would be ruined this is this is ito uh I've, I've talked about him a little bit he's a rocket with a character arc um so he actually has the babies which is kind of like your what's up with this guy why does why would you know anyways he basically he ends up becoming a good guy or he, he abandons team rocket Here's the thing. Like we got this hard wall, so even though it's a slow kill, it's a kill. Uh, smooch him. Okay. See, see, we're we're prepared for like these elemental Pokemon. You know, like <laughs> we're good, right? Um, dude, Ghastly actually putting in work, man. Holy. Yuckster gang. Also, are there any playtesters in the chat right now that need modding? Um, let me know if, because sometimes I see your, like, have, am I missing anyone? Because sometimes uh, I keep, I, I just miss people. So please, I'm really sorry if I am missing you and you need mod. Um, what's up, Vin? Oh, well, that's not a playtester, but that's someone I know. Um... um This is definitely not a nothing fight. That's what I'll say. We're also, we're definitely chilling for Bugsy just because we have rock type and grass. It's actually the rival that I'm like kind of worried about. Bring your kids to work day at the Rockets. Ha, <laughs> that's really funny. All right, coughing, down. Also, what's up? Oh, good to see you again, Sky to Fall. Welcome back, welcome back. Guys, can I get a round of hearts for all the super chats we have today? Really, like, do appreciate it. Um, Because honestly, right now, like, where I'm at is... Oh, also, side note. Um, I actually have made this guy kind of resemble Archer. It's not going to be explicit, but he has a Weezing, he has a Hound Hour, and he has a Slowpoke, which are the same Pokemon that uh, Archer has. So, it's not absolute like it, you know it's kind of open to interpretation like oh is it i don't know but it is the same the same team um so anyway uh yeah so round of hearts for 
for t- uh, Titanic, Shoal, Kyle Cookie, Kyle Cookie again, and Sky to Fall. Um, oh, what I was going to say is, like, I was like, man, I really want to get a video out this week, but, like, I, I want to get this ROM hack done, you know? And it's like, I only have so much time I can put into this whole channel as a project. So being able to stream this and like, dude, 500 people are here, you know? Like that is really helpful for the channel um, because it's just like, it's it's supporting the channel. Like it's it's like some content out so that like the channel isn't like, oh, we haven't uploaded in three weeks, you know, losing a bit of momentum. Um, so it's awesome that people come out here, you know, Again, just sometimes like even if a YouTuber doesn't upload for a while, you kind of like forget about them. And I don't want you to forget about this project. So um, everyone here that's here, like, and especially the super chatters, um, we love to see it. So thank you guys very much. Also, that is the thing with Quillava. Uh, you get it at 14, which is really nice. Oh, Silver. Yeah, I like Silver's team a lot. Um, like, I kind of agree. Like, that's such a good point. Like, an Electabuzz would fit on his team so much better. Oh, it's just another... Oh, God, you know? And that's the other thing, is part of me is, like, I don't want to keep doubting. No, because then that kind of undercuts Ito. I don't want to keep doubting my... Like, uh, uh, yeah... Gengar? Uh, so Gengar has had Ice Punch and Fire Punch removed. Both Alakazam and Gengar have had the treatment, which is I, I know a lot of people don't like. Um, the reality is they're just like, they break the game. And it's it's not even like it, they're, they're S-tier Pokemon. Like, they're S-tier Pokemon even without the punches. All three punches. Um, so, so yeah. Um... We have we have removed them. We have removed Ice Punch and Fire Punch. Um, the reason we we left Thunder Punch is that they both learn uh, Thunderbolt. At least one of them learns Thunderbolt through the Move Tutor. And what? Why was the? Oh, and in the later games they they get like Shockwave and Thunderbolt. So, um. I wanted to leave them with one move for coverage, and it's the one that they kind they get like electric moves anyway. Um, a lot of people I've seen someone say like Gengar should get Ice Punch because its Pokedex entry talks about Ice Punch, but I just think it's too broken. Um, even with Thunder Punch, which is slightly less good than Ice, like Ice Punch is just better coverage, right? Because you get ground, you get grass, you get dragons, you get flying. Like that's that that's some really nice coverage. Electric, you know, is water and flying, um, which is really good because there's a lot of water types, right? But it's it's uh, ice ice coverage on something with like 130 special attack and amazing speed. It's just so busted. Um, something I would really recommend, uh, you know, like is watch the video series because like there's so many people that like keep asking the same question and it's like, man, um, you know, if you're excited about this and you really want to like have an understanding, there's so much content we've been putting out. Um, so I definitely recommend just like check out the video series. There's a playlist on the channel. Um, it's got everything you need to know. Um, and you will be like, oh, cool. Um, cause, cause pretty much anything you can think of, we've, we've talked about Tra like trade of you know, that's a really good example. I see people ask that question every single video, every single stream. And like, we've talked about that. We've talked about that a bunch. Um, trade evos are basically they're, they're a thing. Yeah. They're, they're, it's been, it's been fixed. Pokemon that need the trade held item, the, the, uh, held items have just been turned into basically it act, acts like a stone. And uh, the big four, uh, Ghastly included, have uh, just are just level ups now. Uh, rough estimate. Um, like, I don't, I don't even like, I don't even want to give you an answer. Like I said, it'll be out by the end of the year. It might not be out in a month. Let's say, let's say between, you know, like like two months. But but then. It might not be two months, and then you'll be disappointed. So, 
So yeah. Yeah, we should probably fix the Apricorn Balls. I don't know, though. Like, who actually uses them? <sighs> I don't know if I, like, I... I guess the thing is, yes, we probably just should. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is... It is Bugsy in time. And this is the big fight. Because Bugsy has been changed. So Bugsy had a lead Ledian, and we've actually changed it to Pinecone. And Ledian is his second Pokemon now. So he's had a slight nerf. Um, he has had a slight nerf. He was the hardest gym leader, basically. Um, damn, that that's that's tough for Pineco. Okay, so if you bring up, I mean, this is the best fire Pokemon you can have at this point in the game, so that's understandable. But I think there's a lot of fire Pokemon that are two to three shotting that thing. Um, but, uh, okay, the thing is, just a little clarification, that thing has Mega Drain, and the purpose is, is that is meant to be a Rock-type check. So you can't just sweep him with, like, a Geodude. Uh, because if you, if you get hit by a Mega Drain, four times super effective, you're dead. Uh, now, Ledian has, uh, Thunder Punch. And the purpose of that is to cover Flyers. Without also covering, uh... What is it? Oh right, it doesn't also cover a, a ground types because we didn't we, we didn't want like we wanted like a check for rocks, but not like a whole whole check. Okay, so again, Ledian, much better stats. You know, took some hits. Maybe I'll hit. I kind of want to hit myself just to, you know, fair enough, fair enough. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, Ledian has seen some buffs. Um, it's pretty, pretty good special defense. Um, it, it gets, it has that, that Ledian actually has reflect, which I'm kind of surprised it didn't set. Probably just because. Well, I don't know, honestly. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're going against. We have the best Pokemon for this fight. We have the best starter for this fight. We have a really good Rock type for this fight. Um, it's not a surprise that this is a super easy one. Um. So that's Bugsy. I would say that would be a lot harder. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if Bugsy, is Bugsy too, hard, too easy? So the problem we were running into is like, it felt like a huge difficulty spike for Bugsy. And then Whitney kind of was like left being disappointing. Whereas what I want is like, I want it like a steady rise. Like I want each gym leader to feel a little bit harder than the last. Um, and I would say in general, Bugsy is better than Faulkner. But for the, the team we brought, we did much better, you know? And that that's just how it goes with, with playtesting. Still got hands with no fire types. Okay. Thank you, Zach. I actually appreciate that. Um, also, again, I literally just asked if there's anyone that is a playtester that doesn't have modding, and I missed it. Cat <laughs> um, says, loving the progress on the hack. Excited to see how you've changed the Kanto. Oh, that's something I should talk about. So I will just say uh, Whitney is up next, um, which I'm really excited for to try Whitney. Um, so don't don't go anywhere. But uh, for now, we have our rival fight, which is one of... This has always been one of the harder fights in the game, and I wanted to make sure it still is, and it still is. Because um, no matter what now, their starter is 18, so they have they have the, the, the evolved version. Because Croconaw is an 18 level up. Anyway, so while we take on this fight, let's talk Kanto. Um, Kanto needs a lot of work. And if I... I don't I don't have the time to do what I want with Kanto. Oh, wow. That was a wake up, huh? Okay. Um, I want to get... I want to get Johto out for people to play. And Kanto can kind of be like an afterthought. So what we're going to do is exactly that. Um, we're going to get the polished, perfect version of, of Johto Oat for you guys with 
an improved Kanto, right? So it's it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be much more playable. It's going to be much more enjoyable. Um, we have a... Oh, okay. So I'm going to lose this fight because I played it wrong. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be an L unless Ghastly can get really lucky on this Hypnosis. Okay. Um... What if we had a curse, maybe? <laughs> we'll see. We'll hit a hit a screech, I guess. It's quarter damage. Oh, the screech fizz. Come on. Okay, we just gotta. All right, so that's dead. All right, Kulava, you gotta, you gotta just. We'll see. What what does what does Kulava have to do? Oh uh, no. Oh, it goes for the leer. All right. Sometimes, sometimes AI gives out the dub. Um, we had that for sure. I didn't think that Ghastly was going to be the one that needed to take out Krokona, and that kind of went against us. But anyway, it worked out. Um, oh, and then Larvitar. This is going to do decent damage, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a crit. Excuse me. I'm down. I'm 100% down for more excuses. Okay, gonna need to use that super potion. So this is an L. Um, this is a, this is a loss right here. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. Uh... Oh, also check this out. Check this out. I forgot to mention. Craig just added this. Look at that sand. See that little thing onto the left there? Yeah. Crit. Dang. There's the L. Okay, let's uh, let's do it again. Bro, level oh my god, this Kulava is too is too strong. Yeah, you really want a grass type for this fight, I guess. So anyway, there's there's that. Um so Krokana. I guess I guess you swap Spinnerack. It's probably dead, yeah. Um so now we go ghastly. There it is. Um, I almost want to just go for the hit. Oh my god, stop evading. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to go for a curse. It shouldn't wake up. Hmm. Yeah, some nice little UI stuff. Anyway, what I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to talk about Kanto here. I'm just getting caught up in this fight. Um... my brain trying to process what are we doing with Kanto so yeah basically we're gonna have the launch Johto is going to be the perfected version of Johto and Kanto is gonna be fixed uh, it's mostly gonna be level curve fixes so that you can actually fight the gym leaders we're gonna we're gonna make the gym leaders harder um, actually I think we have the kill here cuz we should probably just outspeed oh, oh perfect yeah, so, um, it's going to be good. Like, it's going to be a better version of Kanto, but what my ultimate vision for Kanto is, is I actually want to do, like, almost like a second part of the project where the philosophy for Kanto will be a little bit different because the reason Kanto is bad is not the reason Johto is bad. Johto just had some bad design choices, um... Mm, man, we just do not have the the Pokemon for this for this Larvitar, dude. Like, do I just go for a burn? You know, because it can't really do anything against Rocky, but we can't do anything against it. Like a bind, I guess. Anyway, um, I guess we just go for some rock throws. I'm sorry, this fight is just a lot more engaging than I thought it was gonna be. Um, dang. Cool. That. Like I said, I knew we we had the, we had the team to win that fight the first time. I just played it wrong. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's talk Kanto. Really sorry about my distractions. So I, I guess I've basically explained it all. Uh, the second version of this, our second release, uh, basically like I'm trying not to take creative liberties with this version. 
what I mean by that is like, I'm trying to basically adhere to the guidelines that the game has set out. Um, so for example, like, I don't know. Um, just like looking at, at what the game said, you know? So like, um, for example, oh, okay, let's talk like, let's just use Surf as an example. Um, surf, you can get before the fourth gym. It's a 95 base power move that can go on pretty much every water Pokemon. To me, what that says is they were okay with giving a 95 base power move by the third gym. So maybe we don't need to make Flamethrower and Thunderbolt be like level 50 learn sets. Like maybe those can come at 30 because that's still less OP than water types. You know what I mean? Like seeing what the game did and just building off of those, the precedents that the game set, you know? So like, uh, I think that's a pretty good example. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's what I'm trying to do with this side of, of, of the, the ocean. But with Kanto, they were basically just restricted because they didn't have space. And, and so what I'm trying to do with Kanto is, or with Johto, sorry, no, with Kanto is going to be a lot different. What I'm trying to do is like, I want to make it like the version that, oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you. I'm trying to make it like what it could have been if they weren't limited. You know, like imagine they had an extra year to make the ultimate Kanto. It's going to be like a little more creative. It's going to be like... What, what, like, we're gonna add all the places back. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take some creative liberties to make it fun. You know, we're gonna add some new locations, right? We're gonna add some side quests for some legendaries. We're gonna make the legendaries available. We're still working on that. Also, we added silver powder right there. We're gonna do a lot more to to. It's it's not gonna feel. Here's how I'm saying it. It's not gonna feel like gen 2 kanto as much because gen 2 kanto doesn't have a feel like it's kind of like a blank palette in my opinion like it's just the scraps of kanto there's nothing there and what i want to do is i want to actually give it an identity gen 2 has an identity it's just like i said it's it's got a really solid structure um but like <laughs> um like how would i even say it yeah it's got like it's a it's it's a building that's been well built, but the interior decoration is really poorly thought out. Kanto is a is a is an architectural plan. It's literally just blueprints, and the building hasn't even really been made yet. So you have a basis to go off of, but you have a lot more creative liberty because you don't have that structure that you have to adhere to. Does that does that kind of make sense? Let me know. Let me know if, I, if, if I'm making sense right now, because I know it's like a little bit, it's a lot to talk about. Um, what I'm getting at is we're going to make Kanto awesome, but in doing that, we're going to take a lot more creative liberties than we did with Johto. Um, so there's going to be, I don't know, like you call it like an expansion, or there's going to be like an expansion DLC to this whole idea. Yeah. Yeah, Gen 2 Kanto is basically a victory lap. Um, yeah, so we're going to add, like, you know, some some fun Pokemon you can catch. The gym leaders are going to be really good. Um, yeah, there'll be, there'll be some cool stuff. Oh, it's got Lick. Perfect counter. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay, thank you, Sky. Thank you. It does, I totally agree with you. Thank you, Kyle. Canto, but awesome. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. It seems like I've got it. Again, god damn it. I keep, are there any play testers here that don't have mod? I keep asking it. I keep getting like on these side tracks and then I stop talking to chat. Um, dang, Quilava is leveled, man. This guy is good. Oh my god, Quilava. Clear, don't worry. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Kind of want to catch Scyther. Um, Drowsy. I actually ran... No, I ran Caesar in our last playtest for the Elite Four, and it was... Bu -bu 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 
busted. Not really busted, but it was very good. Cool. All right, Goldenrod. We're actually flying through this right now. So we're going to take on Whitney here soon. Yeah, like Safari Zone back. Sell it on Rocket Hide. Actually, I never thought about that. That would be cool. Um, we're going to make the birds catchable. We're going to make Mewtwo. We're going to make Mew catchable. Um, yeah, there's going to be some some, some stings. I won't, I won't say what we're going to do with Mewtwo. Uh, it, it's it's already done, actually. The, the other birds are, are a little more difficult because we've given them to trainers. And some people don't like... Uh, like, the birds are not one of a kind. They're just rare. Um, but a lot of people don't know that. And so I'm struggling with the implementation of adding them to the game, basically. Um, so, yeah. Are there... What, okay, we need another Pokemon. What would you guys like to see me run, okay? That's what I got to ask you. Um, we won't... Okay, we're... Like, Ghastly is so good... The other thing I suppose with Ghastly is it only gets Thunder Punch once it turns into Gengar, whereas Abra learns it right away. Uh, we don't want another Poison Pokemon. We don't really want a Drowsy. Oh, Bro, we could run Togepi. Um, I don't know if it's very good. Chinchu. Oh, Lantern would be a fun Pokemon to run. It's a, it's a long, long time till we get a Water type, but uh, that would actually I would like Chinchu quite a bit. Run something Jota. Uh, we're not gonna do Hound Hour, um, but yeah, keep keep the suggestions coming. Yeah, I I, I think I'm down. I think I'm down, bro. Honestly. Mankey could be could be cool. Um, we're actually quite high level. Like we're very ready for Whitney. Uh, def I was gonna say this thing definitely has magnitude. Oh my god, get dusted. Surprise most. Oh. Star you, Kingler. Ah, oh, there's so many good water Pokemon. Mankey, something physical. Hoppip? Bro, part of me wants to run Hoppip too. Part of me does kind of want to Hoppip. Which is so rare. I've never run it, and grass types have had big buffs this game. So I've almost I've almost want to run. Uh, I don't know. Hop up and lantern. That would be a lot of coverage. That would be that would be grass, fire, electric. You don't really need an electric type and a grass type in Gen two. I'm gonna be honest. Like the only the only Pokemon that that's helpful for. I guess there's nothing here I really want. All right, it's time for Camper Todd boss fight with his Azumarill. This was some remnants of the old game. And everyone was like, bro, that Azumarill is cracked. And, and anyway, I, I just thought it was cool. Um, like, I'm probably going to lose to this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Cut is now bug type, by the way. And it has a high crit chance. Anyway. Um, are we ready for Whitney? Dunsparce, Hopip. Togepi. Yeah, when everything is balanced, you just want to run any, everything. Um. So yeah, uh, you guys just mind if I take if I just pee real quick? I'll be, I'll be like two seconds.
What up, what up, what up? Guys, thank you so much for your patience. Appreciate it. Also, I gotta say, I have not, like, we're playtesting right now. I have not really made any notes, which means our game is feeling a lot more polished. Um... TSP running two streams at once. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, what a comment. What a comment. Um Oh, Onyx learning dig on its own. We love to see that. We love to see that. Look at this. Look at this dig. That's not a lot of damage. Uh, but we still, we still love to see it. Um, bro, part of me just wants to run Togetic. I, it's never been good before. It's definitely, like, gonna be a utility mon, but, like, it does get Encore, and Encore is amazing. So what if we just, uh... Okay, so we, we would have Togetic. We need, we need a water type still. So probably... I'm basically between... Nah, I run Starmie a lot. Let's not go Starmie. I love Starmie, but maybe we won't go Starmie. I kind of want to run Lantern, because then that gets our that gets our uh, our electric covered too. And then we would have room for one more Pokemon, which maybe we can figure out as we keep playing. This lady with a Meowth. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Onyx, learning Dig now. And a big reason we did that is because a lot of people would use the Dig TM on Onyx. And I just feel like it makes more sense to just give it it. But we've given a lot of... We've made sure that pretty much every Pokemon gets at least one stab move. That's like... We didn't want to go too overboard with move sets, but like... That's a very minimum, minimal uh, threshold we've tried to, tried to reach. Okay, so Lantern. I think we're, I think we're thinking Lantern. Sorry, is that a little too loud? If if that's loud, I can close that. It's just I'm sweating my balls off. Dude, smog on Ghastly is not amazing, as you can see right now, but it's so appreciated. Oh, it's the baton pass. Love it. It's funny. How do we feel about Togepi, guys? Should we run Togepi? It's a normal flying type, so, like... Yeah. We could also try Pidgeot. We could also... We could also still catch a Pidgey. Um, so... Man, I also just gotta take a moment and say there are 600 people here. Like... You are watching this. I don't know. I don't know where you're watching this right now. Like I'm talking to you. You're sitting on your couch. Maybe you're wa maybe you're watching this on t on your TV. You got like the YouTube app. I don't know. Maybe you're probably watching it on your phone. I don't know where you are. Maybe you're at work. Maybe you're at home. Maybe you're at school. Well, probably not at school right now. I don't know where you are. Encore is pog. You know, you're here. I see you. Okay, I see you. Thank you. Like, there's so many people we have right now. It's amazing. Um, oh, Hearthstone. I have not given this man the Hearthstone, right? Or have I? No, I haven't. Doesn't It doesn't add a lot of damage, but it's, it's needed on a guy like Onyx. Okay, so she's going to lead Clefairy. I'm going to say that's a job for Quilava. No, that's a job for Ghastly. Quilava can take out the Teddy Ursa. So again, what we're looking for, guys, in this fight is we're looking for a steady incline in difficulty, right? Like, Faulkner to Bugsy, like, we want Whitney to be keeping that climbing. And then Morty after this, you know, we want to keep that going, basically. Two TVs in my room. I love that. In my garden. Oh, okay. I think, I think the key with Smog is just... 
Go for the poisons. Playing Sapphire right now. I'm in your base. I'm in Bulgaria watching on my laptop, sitting on my couch. Working from home and discovering your channel at the same time. Yes, Alexis. We love that. We love that. Uh, watching on my phone. But you got TV set up as my second monitor for a viewing experience. Um, I'm at work. We love that. Ooh, type boosting items, 20% increase. Mm. They're not great in this game. That's actually something to think about. Maybe even 15%. Oops. We're good. What are you doing for a 100k subs video? I guess dropping this ROM hack, because this ROM hack has been the thing to get me to 20k. Um, he's dead against this Teddy Ursa anyway, so I'm just going to drop a curse on it. Oh, the Metal Claw. Damn. A little bit of rock coverage. A little bit of rock coverage for you. Teddy Ursa's got good attack too, so that, that would do a lot of damage. Um, I think we'll just go for an Ember here. Oh yeah. Let me know if that's too loud. I I won't I don't mind closing it again. I just need to get some air in here. Um Yeah, this is not Kaizo. Like this is a harder version of Crystal for sure, but it's not trying to be harder. Like it's trying to be fun. Um so if you're really good at Pokemon, you will be like, "Oh, this is like an appropriate challenge, but you won't be like it's not like, you know, if you're if you're like, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna get destroyed. Um, that's tough that we just got outsped. Anyway, Rocky, really good covered coverage for this fight. Um, it's tough because 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 it has attract. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fight. We still might lose this honestly. Like that's an that's an L against Whitney, guys. Oh, Whitney's evil, bro. She just she just took her big cow and just crushed little Togepi. Are you guys okay with that? Like that is big evil vibes. That is evil. Yeah, difficult but balanced. So the idea is that it's harder, but the game gives you more tools. I think, I think anyone that's, like, interested in a ROM hack is probably at least decent at Pokemon. So I don't think you'll, s like, majorly struggle. But, like, you'll definitely, like, lose a fight. You know? Because uh, he here I am, like, I'm trying to play fast. Uh, so I'm not optimizing. And we're losing a little bit. Also, Togepi learning return. That's cool. I like that. I like that big time. Togepi just turned into breakfast. No! Crack that egg. <laughs> oh, it's so evil. How could you, Whitney? It also sucks because, like, Ghastly evolves at 22, I think. Yeah, we're not even, like, level capping. Yeah, it's it's not trying to be hard just to be hard. It's 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 trying to like be the most optimal level of fun. Yeah, if you come prepared, uh, you can definitely win every battle. I absolutely want harder Pokemon games. Sun and Moon kicked my butt, and that's how I love it. Yeah, thank you, Shoal. Uh, let's get around to her for Shoal. We love we love the super chats. Um, so like, ah. Uh, this game might be a little easier than... It's definitely easier than Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But I might say this is harder than Sun and Moon. How does that How does that feel? Like, does that make sense? Like, sim actually similar difficulty to Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon was not... Some of those, those totem fights I definitely lost. Um, also, this Magmar guy. Never touched him. He's kind of an iconic trainer. Uh, I didn't realize this. Someone told me. A lot of Nuzlockers will skip him because he's got two, like, pretty... Like, Magmar's pretty strong at this point in the game. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, 
Oh, Rocky's bad, bro. It's going to do. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Rocky. Togepi to 14. Bro, honestly, I kind of want to get Togepi leveled up. And then I want Togepi to kill the mill tank. <laughs> like, revenge kill. <laughs> yeah, lots of XP. Agreed. Uh, this Voltorb guy used to have like a level 2. So we, we fixed that. Uh, he's a juggler. So we gave him two Voltorbs. But he also has a Pineco now. Because it's also a thing you would juggle. Pineco has Mega Drain. Uh, Pinecone can learn Giga Drain, but we gave it Mega Drain just so it would be a bug that has rock coverage, basically. Um, little something for the, the guy. Dude, I gotta say, like, giving... I, I love, I love the early game XP share. Some people are like, ah, it makes the game easy, but like, to me, swap grinding is boring. I don't like it. Um... It does add a level of difficulty, but like, it's just so, to me, it's more tedious than it is difficult. Um, and so I, I just, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but for me, I, I really like uh, the way we have the game set up now. Also, Rock Throw is 100% accurate. Um, rock Slide is still maintaining its 10% chance to miss because it has a good flinch chance and it, it can be really strong. Uh, like Aerodactyl with a uh, with a hundred percent chance Rock Slide is a little busted. So, you know something like Rock Slide you want to keep, but because Rock Throw has no secondary effect, fifty base power. I thought it was fine. Um... Oh, look at that Persian! That's what I love. The Overworld sprites. Like, look, it's it's one thing to go into your party and see Ghastly Rocky, you know, but. Bro, the, the overworld sprites are sick. Looks so good, dude. Craig is a legend for implementing that. Will I be playing zombies with Wendigoon? Yeah, we're going to do Origins together. Uh, uh, oh, I hate XP share. I will not play a game if I don't have to use it. I completely understand that sentiment. I know a lot of people feel that. Um, so you might not know, but the, the XP share in this game works differently from modern Pokemon games. So you just give it to a Pokemon, and if it's holding it, half of the XP from every fight, or from every Pokemon goes to that Pokemon. Completely optional. Completely optional. Um, so the, the, and the thing is, is it exists to buffer some of that, that training when you catch a new Pokemon. By the way, Murkrow is in, is in, Isla, is in Ilex Forest now. Um, we, we, we swapped it from... I don't, I don't think we're ever going to... Okay. Um, yeah, it used to be... Or sorry, it's not in Ilex Forest anymore. Now it's in National Park. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I think, again, a lot of you guys haven't played Gen 2. Again, like, you might not understand how it works, but it is honestly the best iteration of the XP share because you just put the XP into a single Pokemon. Yeah, it's nowhere near as brain dead as you're used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. Like, I didn't realize how many people haven't played Gen 2 or just maybe aren't familiar with it, and so they're coming into it with, like, Gen 2 mindset, or like Gen 9 mindset, and they're like, I hate XP share. I'm not playing this because it's early. Like, I hate you. And I'm like, dude, you don't even, you don't even know what XP share is, my guy. So, so yeah, just understand there's, you know, things like uh, the focus band. The focus band is not the focus sash. Two different things. Anyway, Chris, coming in here, coming in here, with a 20 bomb, ladies and gentlemen, th those are the hearts right there. I need to see some hearts for Chris 2005. Dropping that fat, that that fat Franklin, you know, that Andrew Jackson. I think it's, I think it's, a, I think it's a Jackson. Thank you so much, bro. We appreciate it. Appreciate this, this the channel support. Um, much love. So let's get a round of hearts for Chris. We'd love to see that. You're gonna drop the ROM hack at? at uh, no, I'm not gonna drop it. But that will be. 
the 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 hundred k celebration. Uh, cause cause that's the thing that's gonna. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not dropping it at, at 100K because it's not going to be ready at 100K because I'm going to hit that in, like, the next few days, which is also sweet, by the way. Thank you so much. But, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. A level 21 Scyther. That's a little too early for another Scyther, if you ask me. Person, uh, schoolboy. Is this, Al no, is this Jack? Has a Scyther, comma... Too early after Bugsy. Bugsy, swap to lower level pincer. Easy fix. Oh, Togepi. Gonna come in here with a return? No, Togepi just did. <laughs> I actually just... Okay, it's fine, but I'm stupid. <laughs> well, we also almost lost that. Okay, it is Jack. Bro, look at look at me. Look at me. I know my trainers in this game, okay? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who any of these people are. I just I just know that schoolboy Jack, okay? Love the hearts. Franklin's a hundo. Oh, Benjamin Franklin, the the Benjamins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um I might just buy some full heals. So, um, one other change we've actually made is this used to be stones. And we've moved this the purchase of stones to... Uh, also, that's just... Uh, this is just for playtesters, so don't get your butt... Don't get your butt all in a knot. Uh, we moved the stones to Cyanwood, actually. Because, because Cyanwood is sick. Uh, no, because Cyanwood isn't sick, and it needed it needed something. So. So yeah. Uh, I think Rock does resist Bug. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, guys, um, let's try this Whitney fight again. Ooh, you know what we should do though? Before we do that. You know what we should do? Let's go, uh, let's go hit up the hairdresser. We'll give Togepi a hairdress, haircut, to raise its, uh, raise its, uh, friendship. Haircuts don't do a lot, but it's, it's not nothing. Oh, the bone club. Oh, dang it. Rocky is over leveled. Okay, Return's not doing nothing. I really like Return on Togepi. Like, it, it feels really good as a level up move. You know, especially because it's a baby, but also, like, stab and... Yeah. Uh, I... Uh, Mar Marius actually in what Hogwarts... Uh, I'm a Gryffindor. I used to be... I was such a Gryffindor hater. I was like, oh, Gryffindors are so stupid. And then I took a test and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet kiss. We'll get rid of growl. All right, grab that coin case. View the prayer. Yes. There you go. Doesn't it? Doesn't give it a ton of. Uh, it, it gives it like maybe five or so, but it's not nothing. We actually raised the friendship, so it's it's a little bit better now. Although we did faint our Togepi, so that hurts it. Yeah, Cubone's no slouch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's try Whitney again. So Whitney's Mill Tank holds a Miracle Berry. If you're just you know, so you, so you can't cheese it with like sleep. Um. Okay, I think I think I want Togepi to try to take this 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 thing on. I think there's a a real chance Togepi beats it. Love the idea of early return on a happiness Pokemon because you get to see it grow alongside with your Pokemon happiness with the peaking out evolution. It's perfect, right? Yeah.
Miracle Berry. See, that's another one of those things. It's like people don't even know what a Miracle Berry is. It's a Lumberry. Uh, it's the original version of the Lumberry. I guess we could just charm this. Clefairy used charm. Okay. Um, it's Metronome. Pedal Dance. Big damage, baby. Headbutt. Okay, let's set up with a sweet kiss. Oh, the icy wind. Come on, Tokopi. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, I think this is a job for Kulava. Oh, this thing is so dead. Let's go. All right, Teddy Ursa. Gonna go with an ember. Oh my god, dude. Teddy Ursa with the damage. Thank god we have speed. The flinch would be bad. All right, now, mill tank time. We're gonna hit... Ah, oh, mill tank fucking outspeeds me, dude. It's too good. Um, Ghastly's fast. And it's asleep. All right, easy way to beat mill tank. Hit the curse while it's asleep. And then we'll swap Rocky. Okay. Now we'll go Screech. And then we'll go... Actually going to go with a Dig. Okay. Because even if it wakes up, it won't hit us. But it's asleep and it's dead. Now, Togepi did not get the kill, but Togepi helped out, and, and Whitney has been defeated. So there's your Whitney fight. I think that was good. Like, I don't think that was... Oh! Whoa! I mean, to be fair, it is level 20, and we gave it a haircut. Is that too early? How do we feel about that? I mean, we raised it from 20, you know? Like, that's... That was what we wanted. Um, the Miracle Berry didn't work. Whoa! Interesting. The haircut mattered! Bro, the haircut mattered. Also, haircuts might give a little bit more. I might have upped them because I found it was, like, pretty low. Okay. Uh, I... We made a change because for some reason... They, this wasn't a thing in Gold and Silver, but in Crystal, you have to go talk to the girl, then come back, and then go back up. Oh, you're better than Whitney. You'll be okay. Here's a squirt bottle. She just gives it to you automatically now, which is... Which is... Which saves you a trip. Um... Now, another implementation. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You can buy berries. We're thinking about making it so maybe you can't buy gold berries. Because uh, gold berries are really good. I feel like gold berries kind of break the game. But, like, also the thing is, is, like, the better berries are kind of expensive. Like, miracle berries are great, but they're, like, a grand. So you can't be, like, using them in every single fight. Um, but yeah, we wanted to add a berry shop, so. Oh, people want that Eevee, dude. People are in love with Eevee. What would we, what Eevee would we run, though? Like, I don't want to run Umbreon. It's Umbreon every goddamn time. <laughs> and I like Umbreon, but it's just, I've, I've used a lot of Umbreon. It's pretty neat. Look at this. Look, let's see how much a uh, let's see how much a return is doing. Honestly, not bad for a utility Pokemon. That is enough damage. That's the other thing is like getting this at like level twenty is so much like more reasonable than like level thirty how it used to be. Flareon. We don't need that. We have a flyer type. Uh, a lot of people want Lantern. Vaporeon for the memes. Espeon. I mean, Espeon is a good Pokemon. Espeon 
is a kind of one note Pokemon, but it's very good at what it does. Like Espeon exists to <laughs> Espeon exists to use the move Psychic, and that is is really like mostly all it does. I guess Shadow Ball is now a thing. Uh, so it can't be Flareon because we have a Fire type. We're talking about Lantern. I'm curious about Jolteon though. And that would give us an option for another water type. Just, you know, we could go Jolteon. Uh, I don't know what other water type. Like, I don't want to run Kingdra. I don't... Never just... I never... I've just never liked the design of Mantine. Oh my god. If you are saying Leafeon, like, I'm going to come to your house and fight you. I, like, we are not friends if you say Leafeon. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Ball Espeon, because Ghost is now special, so it would be doing some damage. Bro, Rocky kind of messing kids up. Oh, Quillfish, but we already have a Poison type. It's a Sudowoodo. All right, I don't want to kill Sudowoodo. I want him to flee back into the... There we go. He can flee. He can... He can... <laughs> uh... Uh... <laughs> Interesting. Damn. Okay. Uh, Octillery. No. Oh, people are asking about Sun... Hmm. Part of me wants to run a grass type. Politoed. Politoed? Not Pokemon I love. Bro, part of me wants to run like some flora of all Pokemon. How do we feel about some flora? Oh, I really want to. Okay. I, th I really want to run Lantern. And if we run Lantern, we can't run Sun Flora because it's. I don't need a, f a grass type and a. F uh. <sighs> okay. Gengar, Typhlosion, Lantern, Togetic, Steelix. What is the f what is the last Pokemon we need? Espeon is not a bad choice. Like Espeon fits into that mix all right. I just I just actually used Lick there. I am sorry. Please don't please don't unsubscribe. Um, even though. Everyone, everyone wants Sunflora, though. Uh, I really want to run Lantern. I like Lantern a lot. Nah, bro. Hopip. Deli Bird. Six Ledians. <laughs> um... I think, I think Kulava's getting its uh, flame wheel soon. Some Flora or Lantern are both based. Ooh, Poliwag line. Ah, man. Guys, this is so tough. This is so tough. I like this team. And you know, we could also rely on Gengar with Thunder Punch, but it just it doesn't come until the second the last gem. I don't want I don't want Kingdra. Man, I'm struggling pretty hard right now. I don't I 
I don't know. Also, I think this should be a better item than a hyper potion. It's just not very great. Hmm. Guys, I'm struggling with the team building right now. Last last Pokemon, you know. Let's also give uh let's give Onyx. Let's actually give Onyx a quick claw. I think that's a better item for it. Just gonna do a little management here. We're gonna take on uh the kimono girls. Dude, still 600 people here. You guys are amazing. Like, I just, I appreciate, appreciate it so much. I don't think we need an ice berry. Don't know if we need silver powder. Um, let's attack. Release Quilava. No to Quagsire. No to Exeggutor. No to Crobat. I already ran Crobat. Bro, Primeape could be cool. We could catch ourselves a Mankey. The Primeape could be really cool. It's not like the best Pokemon, but it's the f it's the fastest fighting type, which is why it stands out to me. It'd be really good for for Karen. Uh, I've already ran Ursaring, so it's a no on Ursaring. Never, I'm never gonna know the Kimono Girls, but that's also what makes these them fun. <laughs> Genuinely fulfilling a childhood dream that I have. I never even realized I had, dude. Oh, man. I That is so kind of you. Because <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Like, that's what I'm doing for myself. So, hell yeah. Bro, Togetic. Do you see that? That is kind of monstrous. No to Caesar. Yeah, we could go Lantern Primate. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, <laughs> Espeon's so good, bro. Espeon's so good, bro. Oh, we are dead again. We're dead again. Espeon's so good, bro. Just, just let, thank you. Thank you, just, just let me live. No to Murkrow, no to Heracross. Oh! Oh, look at that. We got cut. Look at that. We got cut just for this Umbreon. Yes. Success. Piloswine is a little too late. We wouldn't get that till after the seventh gym. Kind of like Lantern Primate feels okay. I had a final fight with Yuck Yuck Guy in Kanto. I'm honestly quite for that. Oops. I just had an AI moment. Maybe we'll uh, do the swappy swap. As the Vaporeon. The ultimate bulky Gen 2 water type. <laughs> Mr. Viss, uh, we already have a ghost. Oh, look at that ride on. I mean, it's blue, but. Oh, I don't think it can be gray. Uh, locations only, like, each building only has, like, eight color palettes. Um, and so it has to be blue. I, I, I understand. This man just gives you one of the best moves in the game before the fourth gym. The ult! <laughs> Dude. Oh, poor Vaporeon. Okay. 
Is that noise annoying? Hair across. Okay, I like that everyone is suggesting so many options because it's making me realize what I don't want. I'm, I'm leaning kind of like Lantern and a Fighting type. By the way, Karen's really good now. All right, so rival number two, rival number three. And now we got Dig. Beautiful. Gloom. Oh, okay, our team's kind of coming along now. Got these hot swaps. Okay, what is Sam saying here? Sam says, Steelix kind of slow. Toga takes a utility mod. The oh, I was going to say, do we have a sweeper? <laughs> do we have a sweeper? <laughs> the best in the game. Yeah, we have Gengar. Um, I I'm curious, Sam. You made an interesting comment. Seems like you're... You know what you're talking about, so I'm curious where you're going with this. Bro, Toga... Oh, I don't like that. It has Ice Punch. That's tough. Oh, my God. This thing is cracked, bro. Wait, I shouldn't have done the swap. <gasps> the Quick Claw! The Quick Claw! Let's go! Let's go! I could have still got that with Tackle. Okay, what I should have done there is swap to our dude, uh, Quillava, hit it with a quick attack, then swap to this. I didn't play that very well. Um, I'm also thinking, guys, I'm thinking about adding a rival fight. I think this would be also come in the, uh, the sort of, like, Kanto expansion. I think I want to add a rival fight because you don't fight him again till the rocket, the rocket underground and he is he goes from level 20s to level f like low 40s basically uh no i mean that's also because of my change but the, the like this this gym level cap let's say is you know you're around level 20 and then the next and then by the time listen i'm i'm, I'm kind of just not really making words right now anyway there's a big gap between between the fights is what i'm trying to see say hitmon would be nice yeah, there's just a massive gap. Yeah, I mean, I'm also open to the Hitmons. Um, damn. Oops. I'm dead. All right, Rocky. Hit him with the rocks. See, I love how this gym opens. It's like, hey, this is place is different. <laughs> we have Misdreavus. There's no like there's no flirting with it. It's just like, yeah, yeah, everyone wants Misdreavus in this gym. Yeah, there it is. Hit on, hit on top is so underused. I'm on top the only thing with the Hitmons is they're very out of the way. Like, you can't get to them until you have Waterfall. Or no, Whirlpool? Chat, do you need do you need Waterfall before the Hitmons? Because then that's going to be Gym 8. So you'd only have them for the Elite Four. Uh, that kind of makes me want to fix that. Because... When do you get Tyro? Like, it's pretty late, right? Oh, take the XP out to your app, Toki Tink. Thank you. I keep forgetting. Also, again, no one's really commenting on the noise, so I, I don't... I guess we're good. Oh, but there's the Encore. Uh, there's the Encore. It's Waterfall. Bro, I think we need to fix that. Um, Make... Because that's just like, what's the point of even getting the Hitmons? Like, it's so late. They're not 
they're not that good, like so good that they're wait, they're worth holding out for. Like especially because Machop is available. Can't hear. It's good over here. Okay, cool. Um, that's good to know. Yeah, Tyrog is in is uh. I'll just. I mean, just. So to go to get to Tyrog, you got to go in here. Um, but like far into Mount Mortar. Like, it's a journey. Like, yeah, there you go. Waterfall. I never, I never go in here. <laughs> um, well, Ether. I never explore more Mount Mortar, dude. But the thing that's crazy about Mount Mortar, like, just, just, I, I feel like a lot of people don't know this. Um, so I will just show you, like, um, like, look, look, look where I am right now. Right? So you can get all the way to Lake of Rage before you beat Morty, which is kind of like, I feel like it's a lesser known thing. Um, so just, just for your curiosity. It's not even that hard of a walk. Like, oh, you can get Tyrog through the odd egg, but that's a one in six or seven chance. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Now, guys, let's fight Morty. Um, thank you for that quick little detour. Uh, is there anyone that didn't know that? Hmm, never thought to do that. All right, as long as one person, CW Seville Cop, didn't know that, the journey was worth it. What? <laughs> Tyrog in the first cave room. I think I'd rather just make it easier to get to the Karate Master. Oh, I got to take that off... Uh, Gosh dang it, I keep forgetting. Yeah, a little bit little bit of variation here, I think, is nice. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so... Ghastly is a level 25 Evo, unfortunately. But that's okay. You know, we could also give Quilava Dig. It's not the best Pokemon for Dig. Um... You know, really what you... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, really what you want to do is give... Here, we're going to we're gonna actually give Rocky a Miracle Berry, and we're going to give... Probably going to be Kolava taking on that Gengar. So... Maybe we'll start with Ghastly. I don't know. It's such a weird fight. No, not Onyx Dig. Uh, Quilava Dig. Yeah, Quilava learns Dig, right? There's a chance we outspeed. Probably not, though. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't mind the curse. Ugh, oh, Ghastly having the nightmare. Ugh, oh, Ghastly, no. <laughs> okay, that's also fun. Dude, I don't know if we're ready for Morty. TBH. Like, hypnosis? Like, I'm already one asleep. Now we got Stantler. Oh my god, dude. We're not really... We're not really, uh... Doing a great job here. Miss Drevis, like, am I... Like, hit it with a... Okay, um... Nice. I don't know, like charm's not really gonna do anything. Uh are we gonna swap? Really? I mean it had Gengar, I'm surprised it they didn't swap there. Like they do actually swap on those. Anyway, um literally our only chance. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, bro. Morty just... <laughs> ah! Maybe, uh, maybe one of these? <laughs> Nothing we can do. That's a, that's, that's a wipe. Damn! We have lost to every single gym leader we have, we have attempted. Uh, except for Bugsy. 
Bro, yeah, listen, Onyx has bad special defense. That's what that is. Um, okay. Wow, we got dusted. We got dirty, dunzo dusted, bro. So the levels definitely pick up here a little bit, as you can see. Again, our team is not awesome yet. There's a lot of potential in this team, right? Like Gengar, Steelix alone. Yeah, but but we're 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 still in the the working on the team process. Yeah, we might honestly. I think we might have to give Kolov a dig. I think it needs it. Just something to really like. Dig's been buffed to 70 base power too, so a little bit stronger. But yeah, we're we're really uh taking some taking some hits, lads. Time to find a metal coat. Yeah, we could uh catch 50 magneton if we want and do the metal coat thing. No, I'm just kidding. Why not remove also Thunder Punch? Uh, it's good coverage. And also, like, you don't get it till the end of the game. So I think it's fine. Damn. How dare you? How dare you? My boy. How could you do that to my boy? So a lot of really interesting uh, questions right now, and I want to I want to cover them all um, while we're just getting through this section. Oh, I'm a silly boy. It's gonna it's gonna be the downfall of me. Dang it. Um, Togetic is gonna be slightly over leveled, but that's that's on me. Okay, so um, the first person, Cal. There's a, there's a few really good questions here. It says, why not make Dig eighty base power to match its power from Gen four? So. This is a really good question because I think it's going to maybe help you guys understand kind of like the, oh, I don't like this matchup. Like sort of like the ethos of this ROM hack a little bit better. Um, I think I think this will really help your understanding of it. Oh my God, bro. Togetic is just leveling up too fast. <laughs> um, but might actually be useful. Oh my God. No, stop. I don't... <laughs> Togetic's gonna be too strong. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a great question. Like, oh, they did this in like a future generation, so why not just do it like that in this generation? Um, and so the reason I'm bringing this up is because like it's a really good example of like I think a common misconception people are bringing into this lighthouse, this this uh, this lighthouse, this ROM hack when they make suggestions is they say, oh, well in Gen Nine, like. You know, there's a move that does 80 base power and has a guaranteed hit chance of critting, or 70 base power and it always crits. You know, why why not make it like that in this game? Um, and the reason is because you can't base this ROM hack. You can't make decisions for this ROM hack based on future generations because it's an entirely different world where power creep is very real, right? So when you start trying to make your bait your decisions off of what they went on to do you very quickly uh unbounce the game so why is why is dig 70 why did i make dig 70 the reason i made dig 70 is because fly is a two-turn move that does 70 base power okay the game saw 70 as that is balanced for this move and i agree so i think well if 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 fly can be 70 dig can be 70 but they didn't make fly 80 you know what i mean 
Um, there's also a lot of ways you can really like use dig to your advantage. Like it can be a very useful move, especially with like leftovers and stuff. So you got to look at what the game set and ba make your decisions off that. And so that's why dig is 70, not 80. Um, yeah. Um, love seeing trainers with unusual Pokemon like Corsola. It's always been there actually. I could take credit for it. Okay. So we're going to catch a Chinju by the way. Um, that's what I came here to do. Um, quality of life features, not as much because it's, again, the reason I'm using this sort of like framework is because it, it can be tough to balance the game. Um, so it's, 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 it's a balancing thing. Like, oh, by the way, I, I haven't been using this because I've been using the speed up feature, but as you can see, there's our, there's our running feature. You just hold down B that's normal speed. That's fast. Um, anyway, we are, we're going to go for Chinchu. Um, I'm going to die on the 80 dig hill. Uh, ground is like one of the best types in Gen 2. That's the other thing is for a, from a balance perspective. It's so good because there's so many poison types. Um, it is genuinely just, it's too strong. Like 70 is, is, is enough of a, a buff to get you to Earthquake. But um, yeah. Go to the back to the rocket hideout and get the thief dig. Um, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, you can't actually get to the rocket hideout until you beat Morty because you don't have Surf, so you can't activate the Gyarados uh, to get Lance to come and do its thing. So, yeah, um, you can get a pretty decent. You can get like it's not unrealistic to get Steelix after the rocket hideout because you get Thief, but you can't do that yet because you haven't got there. Um, there was another comment though. Yeah, and Dig was used to be a hundred base power, and that that's just way too much for such an early game move, and ground being such a great type offensively. So 70, 70 is like very good for crystal. Um Cool. Um uh, Elemental Punches have not been moved. Uh, maybe that's everything. Okay, so there's our Chinchu. Uh, it's only level 20, but it's not bad. We'll give it a, uh, wait, did I not take, oh, Ghastly has the experience share. Okay, my bad, my bad. This lady actually has an Umbreon now. We gave her an Umbreon because she's like a nighttime only trainer. And I know it's like another Umbreon. Oh my God. Of course that crits, but uh, anyway. Dude, the cut for these Umbreons, it's big. There's something about pre-physical special split that early game that I like. I agree. It's a very different experience. And that was one of the big things. Like it just felt wrong to remove that. Um, I really, I really do like the way it is. Uh, yeah. Also fun little thing. Look at these mill tanks. Little nugget. What's up my nuggets. Oh, a little mint berry action. We love that. We love a mint berry. Uh, I actually don't. Well, you know what? We're just, some of our team is getting leveled up and that's just, we're going to be a little over level. That's just what it is. Oh, we also added Doduo here. Um, I actually thought Doduo was here for the longest time, but it's just this fight. And I just feel like Doduo should be here. It just, it just feels right. Like it, it, it feels more so, it feels wrong not to have Doduo there. So we added Doduo and Ponyta, which previously were kind of late encounters. Whoever made them deserves some love. Uh, so Craig implemented them. They're they're a, a thing in a few, a few a few games. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they're sick. Anyway, um, are we ready for another attempt? I don't know. Should we just get? I feel like we need. I feel. I feel like we need Haunter for this fight, guys. So here I am actually going to do a bit of grinding. Go feed the mill tank. Eh, it's not really worth our time. 
Bro, I always mix up Skip Bloom and Jump Bluff. I'm always like Jump Bluff is the second evolution and Skip Bloom is the last. <laughs> but they're a cool design because it's like a dandelion, right? It's like, uh, I don't know. Can this thing? Oh, the leech seed. Okay. Oh, we can also give Chinchu Surf, which is pretty big for this point in the game. Also love that it comes with Spark. Like, very good move for this point in the game. Uh, the problem with Chinchu is that it just never learned Thunderbolt. So we gave it Thunderbolt. Okay, guys, we are approaching Morty. So as you can see, like, it's definitely not an easy game. Um... It's, you know, like, trying to, like, go fast, we're struggling. And I think if we weren't trying to go fast, we might be a little, it, we might have optimized a little bit better. Dude, I'm just so crazy. Like, still 600 people here. Like, that's so awesome, man. Ooh, what do I name the ROM hack? So we've been thinking, uh, been thinking, uh, Crystal Legacy. Oh, look at those. Oh, I thought it was going to kill. I was like, look at the 99 IQ strats. I'm throwing out. Dude, I hate grinding though, I will say. I am not I am not one for grinding. Did we fight that, Mr. Mime? I think we did. We lost to it. Ugh. 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 This this is a man who does not not want to grind. Um I think there's some trainers over here we can fight the This is a lazy man right here. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, so name, I've been thinking Pokemon Crystal Legacy. Okay, level 20, that's not too bad. Because the idea is that it's like the legacy version of Crystal, you know, does that make sense? Kind of, maybe. Okay. Oh, bro, these hypnosis have been clean. Come on. Yes! There's the level up on Ghastly. Our lad is ready to evolve. It really matches the intention. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, simps. Okay, I finally saw- I finally caught someone. Sorry, man. Is there someone else that needs- needs uh, adding? Am I missing someone? Yeah, the name should be simple. Like, I don't know, Legacy just feels good. And it's not taken. Um, I've thought about adding a Nuzlocke thing. I don't know, maybe in future versions we could add a Nuzlocke mode or something. Um, but I think for now, we're just going to make the game, like, it is what it is. And if you want a Nuzlocke, you can, you can run your cheats. Uh, I, I thought about it at first, and, bro, there's just a lot of people that, honestly, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, they kind of just ruin it, because they're like, oh, like, why, like, if you put that in, I'm just gonna use them, so, like, you're ruining it for me, and it's like, well, it's your choice to use them and ruin it, um, but again, this, the, the purpose of this ROM hack is not to be for, it's not for Nuzlockers, right, so, um, I think, I think you gotta make the game for the for like 
well, the, the, for what the intent of the game is, you know? <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, did I not put an experience share on Chinchu? I didn't. Okay, gym number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been struggling this run quite a bit. Um, we have been struggling this run. This has not been the easiest run for us. All right, there we go. So hoping that this is the run. Know your audience, exactly. I want it to, you know, I, it's kind of like, there's been, mo there's been parts where I've thought about Nuzlockers, but for the most part, it's very like, not made for, it's not not made for Nuzlockers, but it's, but that's not the audience. That's not the intended audience, basically. Beautiful, let's go, Haunter with a kill. That alone does a lot for this fight. Um, this thing's definitely got some moves. I'm kind of expecting... <sighs> I almost want to just go for the hypnosis, but it avoids. Also, see how it says evaded the attack now, rather than it failed? Just to be a little more clear. Okay, so we have nightmares. We did. We did. It'd be like that. I might just set, set up Chinchu here. Go for the spark, maybe? Ah, that was big damage. Okay. Maybe this isn't the right Pokemon. That was a nice quick claw, though. Oh, let's go. Kill? Let's go, Rocky. Okay. I think this is Kulava. So interesting that it keeps doing that. Oh, that's a bit of a... Okay. Okay. Oh, he does go for the withdraw. Okay, there it is. There it is. So, that's some nice damage. So, there we go. Okay. Odds are he should miss one hypnosis, but he hits both. And that really dicks us over. So, we got to swap. We're in a bad spot now. Like, he's low, but there we go. We get the free swap. Oh, oh, we got it. Because he went for that. But he gets a kill. No! God damn it. God damn it. Morty's good now. Oh, hell yeah. Morty, man. Uh, unless we wake up and he misses, I think this is an L. Okay, it's actually bulkier than I thought. If he misses this, we still win. Let's go. Let's go, Togetic. Bro, Togetic, like... I know it's a little over-leveled, but I think it I think it was fine. Oh, I forgot about Mistrevis. Shit. Nice. Yes, Shoal, you're on to something. Okay, first of all, huge dub for Togetic. The Pokemon we weren't sure about running. Coming in spicy with the clutch. Now, Shoal is asking if you thought about making the Johto Gym Leaders available to challenge post-game with a fully leveled team of six. So, what I was actually thinking about is making them available to re-challenge after Gym 8. And the reason I was thinking about doing it after is if a, tr a player wants to grind, letting them grind against, like, an actually fun group of opponents rather than just fighting wild Pokemon. So, the grind would be, like level like just a, a team of like flat level 50s morty down let's get some hype in the chat let's get some hype in the chat for morty down we got in detesh ordo pokemon legacy did you update who can learn various tms and hms yes tons uh no more using battles again i think additions like that might come in the, the with the kanto update um yeah okay so morty's down guys I want to head 
uh, east because I want to get. Uh, I want to get. Well, I want to get Steelix, and we we uh, the the um the metal claws this or the the metal code is this way. I think our team is at is at a is at a critical peak where it's about to really step up. Just gotta get Chinchu some more XP. Bro, that's all it got for that whole fight. Oh. Uh, whoa. Dang. Bro, Haunter also looks so sick. My word. Oh. Because <laughs> the other thing that I didn't do is, ladies and gentlemen, huge move. Okay, upgrade from Lick. Motherfucker has had Lick this whole time? Are you joking me? You think this is some kind of game? Well, it is going to be a game now because we got Shadow Ball on our, on our Haunter. Okay. It's big. Okay, this is big time, big time moves right now. Now, uh, oh yeah, anyway, so Shoal and Atesh, let's get a round of hearts for them. We appreciate it. I guess, I think on this channel, I, on my on Smith Plays, we've been doing like 20 bombs, but I feel like this is a smaller channel. So honestly, anytime someone sends a five bomb out, we can do some hearts for that. Um, so we appreciate it. That was a great battle. That was a good battle. Um, yeah, so I, I think people are saying they like the idea of a, a... Rather than making it like the rematches available after the Elite Four, like... My problem with that is, you know, you get all these people available, ready to, like, all these people that you could fight, like, at the same point, you get all the, the Kanto people to fight. So, it, I feel like it kind of it doesn't have quite the impact. Uh, have shiny odds been increased? No, I have not touched them, and I don't think I'm going to. Um... I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe sometime down the road, but I don't know. It's just kind of a Gen 2 thing. Although I am thinking of raising the odds of the uh, the the odd egg shiny odds. I think I might increase that. Using Legacy will give the impression it is not a new experience. I don't know, though. I can uh, help with graphic design, sprites, and art, concept art. Oh. Tendo, that would be awesome. If you want to join the Discord, um, it's in the description. That would be super cool, man. I appreciate the dono. Uh, the R. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if we need sprites, but some concept art would be cool. Because I would like to change the opening screen to say, like, l you know? Buff some of the shiny colors. <laughs> the way you said that is so funny. Why do I feel like this guy has a Quagsire? Sand slash, beautiful. Actually, we're effective. Well, we're good. Oh, it's super effective still. I actually thought we were covered. So that's on that's on me, okay? I take responsibility for that Chinchu L. Chinchu is not <laughs> holding its weight right now, is what I will say. Lantern, damn. By the way, this is the point in the game where it gets hard and we're taking the hard route. Okay, so just as a heads up. I don't think we're gonna run Sunfloor, no. Um, so yeah, this is the difficulty spike in the game. It used to level out and now it spikes up a little more. Um, but man, we are like actually making amazing progress through this, like we're going quick. Bug catcher Josh, bro, I love that. A uh, lucky egg be somewhere in the battle tower. Um, don't have the the phone any bigger, and I could think about that. Make the phone bigger. Be somewhere like battle tower. Yeah, but that maybe, maybe. Um, Definitely, I don't know. Thinking about somewhere to put the TMs. Yeah. 
not really like number one priority like maybe like a very late game spot that just sells them all or something for like battle tower you know wow level 29 see that's this is the game being like hey this is a difficulty spike just so you know you are taking the hard route so we could have gone west and done chuck um and part of me almost wants to i just i don't know guys i kind of want i don't know make the phone calls less annoying yeah There's definitely some stuff we could do. You're right. See, this is the point in the game. I'm like, ah, do we? Oh my god, we're getting we're getting torn up here, dude. Like, god dang it, god dang it, Bobby. Oh my goodness. Wait, why don't I just use Shadow Ball on this thing? So Gengar evolves at level 42 now. It is the best Pokemon in the game, um, so we needed to give it a late Evo. Okay, um, we are getting really pieced up here. Part of me, I actually haven't played East Side. I've only been testing Strong Side. Would you guys mind if we actually switch it up and do Lighthouse? Because last run we went this way, and I think we should get a feel for both sides. And, you know, maybe let's just force ourselves to run the late Onyx just to see how that feels, too. Because it also is that we'll, we'll also be taking the easier path. So, um, I don't know. I just, I, for the for variation's sake alone, I think it's the it's maybe better. So, yeah, sorry. Just change of pace. Alakazam is also 42. Best two Pokemon in the game. Uh, the fact that you can get an Alakazam at level 16 in the base game is just... I know most people don't even get Alakazam, but the fact that that is a possibility is kind of disgusting. So, yeah. Dude, Chinchou is such a great Pokemon for this route because it resists everything, but it can it can, like, dice everything up. Oh, also, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go this way just to give Chinchu a bit of XP. Crystal clear that. Man, I cannot believe how many people suggest that. That is a ROM hack. It's to the point where that is like an annoying question. I like, oh my God. I guess it's just a low hanging fruit name. Crystal, Crystal clear is like, the best Gen 2 ROM hack for what it's worth. It's so good. I've never actually like beat it. I've only played a little bit, but it's really sick. Yeah, even just like a level for Chinchu was great there, but this I knew there was a Noctowl here, so um, I don't know what we have after that, but even level tw uh, this guy might have a water type. It's like yeah, okay, this is a good spot for Chinchu too. So we're just going to breeze through here. Hope you guys don't mind, like, no sound. Um, oh, they're asking if I'm playing Crystal Clear right now. Is that it? Is that what you're saying? I understand. My bad. My bad. I've also just had a lot of people suggest I call it crystal clear, but obviously we can't. Crystal meth. <laughs> I mean, I kind of hope this game is like meth, right? Like it's so good that it, like it, it takes you to such a high, a good feeling that you're never able to enjoy another Pokemon again. It literally ruins, like like crystal meth ruins your life because it just d destroys your dopamine receptors and you're not really capable of, of feeling good. Uh, this game just destroys your ability to enjoy Pokemon games because it's so perfect. So in some ways, yes, it will be crystal meth, but I don't know if that, crystal clear. Yeah, crystal cl clear is awesome, but like, 
it's just very different from what this one is. Um, this is the ROM hack that didn't exist that needed to exist. So, crystal clearest. I don't know, Crystal Skies, it's just kind of, it's like, what does that even say? It's just, just kind of generic, it sounds good, you know, it's just, doesn't really mean anything. Dude, team is getting a lot more diversity. It's very big. Very big. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm glad to be going this way for once, because it'd be tough. Oh, yeah, so let's, let's talk about Jasmine for a sec while we go through here, guys. Um... Jasmine has had a bit of a rebrand. Uh, not really. I gave her Ampharos originally because I always thought it would be cool if she had an Ampharos. But if I'm honest with myself, I see that it doesn't make the most amount of sense. Like, it's... Yeah, there's an Ampharos in the lighthouse. But, like, the, it's not meant to fight. And a lot of people have been saying, like, dude, that Ampharos is not, like, a fighter. Um, it's a, you know, it, it, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, it's here to, to, to light stuff, right? So, I kind of get why people have been, like, against the Ampharos. But the, the real nail in the coffin is that it doesn't do much for the team. Um, she already has a Magneton. So, she has, like, an electric type, you know, to, like, cover, I guess, I guess Steelix is, like, water weakness. Um, oh, also, by the way, I don't know if you noticed that, but, like, TM34, it now also says, like, Swagger now. It isn't just... It's cool. Um... I know a lot of people do like the Ampharos, and I agree, but a big, like I said, if it was, like, really good for her team, I might be willing to keep it. The problem is that it just isn't useful. Um, it's just another Pokemon that gets wrecked by ground types. Oh, there's the Chinchu evolution. Let's go. Crystal Remastered. I mean, that's the other one. Pure Crystal. I don't know. Does that exist already? I feel like that's out there. Crystal Vision. Yeah, that's that's another one I've been working with. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Ampharos just... It, it does make sense, but it doesn't make the most sense. And the bigger problem is that it doesn't help her team. Uh, she really gets pieced up by fire types. And so she needs a fire type. Or so she needs a fire type counter. So here's the thing, guys. There is a man in the lighthouse who says Jasmine used to be a rock type trainer until she discovered the steel type. Which means Jasmine used to have an onyx. Okay? See where this is going. She needs a counter oh let's go i'm so pumped about this um anyway she needs a counter to fire types she used to use rock types what is the pokemon that satisfies those two things corsola it's the perfect Pokemon. It's rock type. It resists. It not just has like a rock. Any rock type would have coverage. But Corsola actually resists and can take them out with both rock moves and fire moves or water moves. On top of that, Corsola is found in this city. On top of that. It just doesn't have any love. It just, it just sees nothing because it's bad. So what that also meant is Corsola has been given a buff. Corsola has been given some extra HP to make it a little bulkier. And I think even just the fact that it's pink, like her, her floor is pink, it just makes sense, man. I like the Ampharos, but we're removing the Ampharos. We're giving her a Corsola. It, it, it just, it just, it... We're going to see how it works for her team very soon. We're very close to Jasmine. So um, we'll, we'll see what it, what it feels like. But I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, some big buffs. She got, uh, of course, look up, plus 20 HP. So the other thing I should mention, actually, I think it got a lot of buffs. Does anyone remember in, the, in any mods here? You remember? 
Oh, by the way, Horsey's available just here now. You can also get Star You a little easier. It's not just Tentacles through here. Thought I'd just make life a little easier. Polish Crystal, yep, also taken. That's what I mean. Legacy is just, I like Legacy. See, I'm not sure if everyone's suggesting here just wants their suggestion to be the one. Because, like, I feel like some of these suggestions are just, like, not... <laughs> No offense, guys. Crystal Smith. That was the or so that was the original name. Or Smith's Crystal was was it. But it I feel like Smith's Crystal is my vision of Crystal. Whereas I'm very I'm trying to make this like Game Freak's vision. So that's the other thing, is Crystal Vision. That's 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 the other name that I do like. I don't like quintessential crystal. Crystal Remastered is okay, but it's all, it just doesn't really have, like, any flair to it. It's just, it's a little too pragmatic for me. Also, Lantern is awesome. I am pumped about this guy. Legacy Crystal, uh, what was the other one I just said? Crystal Vision. Yeah, those are kind of my two. Smith's Crystal. Um, yeah. Again, I feel like that's kind of different for what I'm trying to do. Legacy is better than Vision. Crystal 2 Attack of the Clones. Yo, Crystal 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yo, what's this? Hey. Oh, yeah, this guy has a Politoed, which is kind of nice because Politoed doesn't see a lot of love. Uh, we've also been talking about adding some. Uh... Dude, this lantern is just strong now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the Dream Eater. Oh no. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Let's go. Let's go, Miracle Berry. E you did. Okay, we got to take this thing off, off Lantern. Uh, let's give it to... I feel like Haunter is going to be integral for this fight. I mean, really, it's Togetic, but Togetic's going to do all the killing. So it's going to get its experience, too. Bro, not going to lie. Kind of loving Togetic. Celestial Crystal. Again, that's just like, oh, it's a cool name. So, like, it, you know, like, it's not really like, what does Celestial have to do with, you know? Pretty, I'm pretty, like, pretty fo set on, like, Legacy. Maybe Vision. Uh... Also, what is the level cap for Chuck? 31, I think. Wow. Co uh, dude, Comet Punch. All right. Can't be mad about that. So those guys are level 29 now. Two little buff by two. All right. Let's, let's, let's finish the talks up on that. Let's, uh, let's get back to this game here. Okay, so... I feel pretty good for Chuck, but it's a t it's a, it's a like he's got some coverage. I've heard Chuck is pretty hard as five. I I haven't actually fought Chuck as five. Um, his team has been pretty unchanged. I would like can anything learn strength? How do we feel about Quilava with strength? It's not bad, honestly. It's just a high damage move. The hardest puzzle of all time. <laughs> Dude, they were really like, our player base are morons. <laughs> no, they were like, children are morons. The only problem with Togetic is that normal typing. That goddamn normal typing. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Alright, Haunter, what have you got, buddy? Big level up for the Laterino. Alright, so... Chuck isn't as bad as Jasmine. What's up? Elf's world. Wait, Elf's world. The other pro... Okay, I don't... Are you someone... I also, to anyone, I feel like there's people that still are testers that have not been getting a mod. My other problem is my Discord is weird, and a lot of people are, it only shows the first letter of your name. So, like, some of the people I also want to say in the playtest group, I just, like, like, there's some people that is, like, your, your name is Jay to me, and I know you're, like, your icon. So, I feel like Balthasar, you're saying, it's Elf's World, and I think I should know you. And maybe, <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm the worst. Okay, if you are if you are a, a play tester, comment in the documenting group for me to mod you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep saying this, and I just am not fulfilling my my duty. But anyway, Balthazar, thank you for the dono. Gage Lashley. Thank you for the dono. Let's get a round of hearts for this lad. Really appreciate it. The big 10 bomb. That is that is really awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Um, so we've got a leading hit on top. Yeah. Yeah, Jess, you are J to me. You are just J in the Discord. And Z, I think it's Zach, but they're just Z to me. <laughs> and H, someone is also just H. It, it's a yuckster, I guess. It's my problem. Oh, the new H. The new H. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get this fight in. Uh, I'm just talking to the, the Discord people. Okay, that was not a lot of damage. Oh, he goes for the dig. Oh, he goes for the dig, does he? Well, you may come to recognize that I am smarter than you might think, Chuck. So you're going to try to dig me? I'm going to I'm gonna dig you back? Except instead of a dig, it's a wing attack. And it's, it's a one-turn dig. And it's, and it's wing attack. Doesn't feel so good, does it? That's tough. That's tough. Our, 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 our answer to this... Like, our biggest answer to this fight... Oh, this is Chuck 4! So Chuck 4 only has 4 Pokemon. Or sorry, Chuck 5 only has 4 Pokemon. That's right. That's right. Okay, so Rock Slide inbound. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so Rocks are coming in. Oh my god, goes for the crit. I. This might be an outspeed. This thing has Thunder Punch. We at least resist it. I mean, we're dead now. But if, if that hadn't crit... Oh, it just goes for the Rock Slide. Because, yeah, okay. Um... Anyway, Sudowoodo has Fane Attack for Psychics and Thunder Punch for the Flyers. It's a very good coverage Pokemon. The reason he has a Sudowoodo is because it's very acceptable for Rock Type for for fighters to have Rock Type Pokemon. We've 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 allowed that. Um. Yeah, wise. What up? What up? What up? Okay, um, I kind of like this. I kind of like the charm. Um, okay, so I think he's gonna do, I, I, I think we know what's coming. What are we holding right now? Is this, is this, this is just an XP share, right? feel like the game is getting difficult at an appropriate pace. Because, like, I have a lot more options to take on Chuck. But I feel like he's good, you know? Why did his have low kick? Uh, you probably don't know how low kick works in this game. Low kick is different in this game. Wow. Wow. Okay. No, oh, we don't have speed. At least we dodged. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's a crit for sure, yeah. Dang it. Uh, the Encore? The Encore? 
The encore? I guess I, I should have just gone for the wing attack. Oh, there, there's the kill. Uh, oh, but we encore into Haunter. There's the kill. Nice. I mean, we just outsped anyway. Um, and then just Primate. I don't... I feel like this thing might have Pursuit. Or something. Like, maybe Feint Attack? Wait, it said Quick Claw? Oh, I gave out the wrong item. Sorry. As you may know, I'm... My brain is a little weird. So sometimes I do things and I don't mean to do it. And I'm very, uh... Easily distracted. <laughs> yeah. Why Thunder Punch? Oh, to cover water. That's what it. That's what it is. Uh, if you want to come at it with a water type to kill it, it has a thunder punch. That was a tough fight. Like again, like the game is getting harder at the time that I'm getting better, and I think that's really good progression because, like, look, here's the thing. Rocky was Rocky was useless that fight, right? So I only had Haunter left. I was down to my last Pokemon to to win that fight, and I you know I won that on my last Pokemon. So that's like. To me, that's like balance, man. Like that feels good. Like that's that's where I want the game at. Now this guy's gonna give me a secret potion. Anyway, the other thing I just wanted to show off very quickly. Need some medicine. So this guy's gonna sell some interesting items. He's gonna sell berry juice. He's gonna sell ethers. This man is gonna sell ethers. I wanted to give Cyanwood, Cyanwood a little more of an identity, a little bit more of a reason to come here. So berry juice. I think if you remove gold berries and don't sell them till like later, this would also have a little more of an impact. Um, ethers are are just nice to have. Uh, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy some berry juice. Yeah, we'll definitely have a big document radar to show all the differences. Um, so we also have the energy powders and stuff. I just thought it was a nice spot. And then we have the stones. Um, so all the stones can be bought here. And to me, like you can get them earlier. If you can get all of these stones earlier, if you want to go out of your way or you just want to be lazy, here they are. That's kind of been my philosophy is like, same with the metal coat. Like you can get the metal coat a little bit earlier, or you can just, you can just wait and just, you know, do it the old fashioned way. And it's, it's fine. Um, so yeah. All right, we're going to teach Fly to Togetic, which is a little annoying that we're going to lose um, we're going to lose Wing Attack because I like Return, I like Encore, but even Charm. Charm is a nice thing to have in your back pocket. Like, there's going to come a fight where we need Charm, you know? Can't think of what it's going to be, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be useful. Oh, also, isn't that sick seeing, like, actually Togetic on the screen there? I love it, man. Sahan would Walter White. Elixir's for three thousand after eighth gym. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could maybe. Uh, uh, we'll see. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, the thing is, is if you have access to ethers, it just you're just good. You know, like ethers just cover your bases. But, but I see what you're saying. Uh, as random encounters in the ruins of Alf. Okay, I was thinking about making it so that. If you catch a certain number of Pokemon of, of unknown, you get the fossils. Like, I don't know how you would do that, but maybe you could make a way like to incorporate that. Cause that's, that is like one of my last things is what the hell do we do with the ruins of Alf? It's just like, so it's actually, we're not going to fight Jasmine. We are not going to fight Jasmine yet. We are actually going to cover a lot of this, and then we are going to fight them the last the six and seven back to back. Yeah, you definitely should be able to buy ethers. I just it's silly. Oh, does that say what does she say? Oh, uh. All right, chat. Trivia question. What road are we on? Girl on route. Fairy instead of Clefable. 
We're at 42. No one said it. You all lose. I beat you. <laughs> road 9. <laughs> it's Road 9. <laughs> puzzle rooms. That's the other thing. You could put them in the harder puzzle rooms, right? So there's like these chambers that open up. Wouldn't it be cool if if three of them, if each, like you added a fossil to each one. So it would have to be like Aerodactyl would be one of the later ones. Um, but man, I love that idea so much. Absolutely love that idea. Anyway, that was really cool to, to fight uh, to fight Chuck. That felt like a great fight. For Overworld Amphi instead of Generic Rhydon? Um, oh, yeah, th th that's still being worked on. Yeah, should be in those advanced puzzle rooms. So... Like, Aerodactyl would be the hardest one to get. You, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, uh, Teost Teoster Lord. Toaster Lord. Uh, thank, you for the, thank you for the donation. Um, and also, thank you for noting that. Because, yeah, there's just some things we're still, we're still fixing, obviously. But honestly, the thing is, is like, usually when I do this playtest, there are like 8 million things I'm writing down. And this one is very, it's a very short list. So we're, we're, we're very much getting there. Let's hit it with a cut and see what happens. All right, we're dead. And then Stash Hand says, thank you for taking all the time to create an improved alternate to the classic Generation 2 game outside of the Nintendo DS remakes. Bro, absolutely, dude. It's, like I said, it's it's such an exciting thing to be doing. And, like, the, the amount of love this project is getting is, like, is massive. So I really appreciate the love as well. Let's, let's get around. We'll do, we're just going to do hearts for the, for the five, uh, five bombs and up, I think, is how we do it. All right. So let's get around to hearts for, uh, for, for Stash Hand and Toaster Lord. Um, now, I'm going to, I'm going to kill this Gyarados. Uh, cut is now, uh, bug. Wait, why didn't we get fossils in second gen? Exactly. So, yeah, I think you could do, like, honestly, the, the Omanite and Kabutops one, or Kabuto, it wouldn't be that bad to do early. Um, so I think, because there's two that aren't super, super late, and then there's another one that is a little bit like later into like I think I think maybe the very first one that you get right at the start well I don't even remember how it works but but anyway what I'm saying is like Kabuto and Omanyte could come early because they're evos um Aerodactyl would be the one that's like I'm trying to think like maybe not like not the one that like you need ho -Oh in your party I don't know what the oops I'm an idiot um anyway I don't think because isn't there one you need, like, ho in your party? So we maybe we just do something else with that. But, like, the, the, the like, I don't know. I think there's one that, like, you, you need by, like, you get, like, by, like, gen, gym 7, let's say. And to me, that feels like a really good point to get an Aerodactyl. And I want to let Aerodactyl have a chance to shine in this generation. Because it is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Oh, catch the unknown that spell the name of the fossil and it will appear. Bro, that would be so cool. And that would also give a purpose to the unknown. Um. Oh, you're right. I should bump uh bump red Gyarados level. Yeah, you're right. It should be like a 35, shouldn't it? Uh, I mean, I guess if you want to catch a 35, it... it the thing is, is I just feel like the game was under leveled. Like it was 30 and the gym leaders around here are 30. But yeah, I, I guess it could be 35 maybe. So we are still one Pokemon down. I don't, I don't mind that. Um, bro, I gotta say, 
even just cut on Quilava has proven to be a lot more useful than I was expecting. Dang. Bulky, bulky boy. Uh, best emulator is MGBA, for sure. Uh, it's just, it's very smooth and crisp. Uh, Visual Boy Advance, like, it's all blurry and awful, but, like, it's, the graphics on this are so good. There's hotkeys, like, I have, I have, like, my right trigger is the speed up, which is really nice. I think a lot of them do that, but, you know, just nice things like that. Yeah, so, um... Really good time to bring this up. Uh, Lance like hyperbeams a dude, and something that we've been thinking about is actually making it so that Giovanni, we're gonna incorporate, we want to incorporate him into the storyline, and we're talking about, uh, we're talking about making him so that he is like working with Lance, and so what we would do is like maybe there'd just be like. Maybe we just have like a mysterious man standing right here as soon as you walk in and he's like, hey, like, you know, like, I don't know. He's just like, like scram nerd. And then you go talk to Lance, you know, Lance goes up and then he comes back down. And then when you enter in, you see Lance and Giovanni and it's Giovanni that hyper beams the guy, right? Because Giovanni is trying to take down Team Rocket, but he's still Giovanni, you know, and he's still like, you know, he's not like a, a pure soul, let's say. Cause like Lance, like it's just bro, like it's, it seems a little evil. Yeah, like like, okay, broken says don't change the story. I don't know. I've been I've been I've been exploring the idea of of Giovanni actually working with the player, and I kind of like it more if if I'm honest. Nice, huge crit for Rocky. Oh, huge learn for Rocky. Let's go. Rock Slide isn't amazing because it's so slow, but like, still nice. I think that's like a dire hit. We don't even really need that, honestly. I guess we can give this to... I feel like Kulava's kind of like lagging behind a bit. Oh, I actually, you know what? Whatever. A uh, little more XP. Never hurt nobody. The rock slide. Oh, out speed. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. The flinches. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I kind of I kind of agree. Like, I think that gives Giovanni a bit of a, a bit of an arc. It's nice. We're also just making such fast progress this time around. Like, I think the first playthrough we did, like, there's like part one, part two, and three. And we're going to get to, we're going to get to gym seven, guys. We just did a playthrough of the, f the end of the game. And I, I don't know, I don't know if we need to go that far. Because um, it really... I don't know. Um, like I said, we literally, we just, oh, I'm also going to a movie at seven. So that's, that's in an hour and a half. So I've got about an hour left. Um, wait, did I just hit another one of these? Oh my God. I never do this. Why am I doing this? But I, I, I'm kind of down for the XP. So we're, we're, we're doing it. We're here. Clear the game. Again, if you want to see me clear the... I don't have time. Like, it's just not going to happen today. Um, so if you want to see me clear the game today, uh, you can watch the end of the stream and then go watch the stream, the last live stream we put up that's, like, uh, Team Rock... Like, like Crystal ROM hack playthrough number three. And that's going to cover the team... The radio tower. Uh, the... What is it? The radio tower? Why is my brain not working right now? Everything past the radio tower. Okay, so Gym 8, radio tower, Victory Road, and, and Elite 4. Oh, God. Can someone explain what changes? There is a playlist. Uh, 
with like nine videos in it that explains everything. I recommend watching that. <laughs> Any ETA? Well, I appreciate you saying, because you said, I'm sure you get this asked a ton, because you had the, I will let you know. I will answer that just because you were a little courteous there. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate the manners. Um, we are looking at probably, I would say like probably in the next two months, like no guarantee. Like it might be earlier. It might be later. Like for sure by the end of the year, we'll have the, the, the Johto fully fixed with like a working Kanto. That's my goal is like Johto perfected Kanto. You can now beat this. You'll play the game. You'll play Kanto. It'll feel familiar to how it was before, but we're just going to go and give the, the, uh, the E4 mem or the, the gym leaders like good levels. We're just going to, doesn't matter that the E4 is weaker is going to be weaker than them. We're just going to, we're going to fix it. What if Giovanni has a reconciliation arc, not just silver, but you too? I mean, that would be really cool as well. That could be really interesting. You know, there's there, there's things you could do, or you could uh, you could also give him a reconciliation with Mew, right? Because is it? Wait, is it Team Rocket? I, I'm sorry, I don't know this. Is it Team Rocket that's doing Mewtwo stuff? They wanted to make the ultimate fighting machine. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, again, I'll just, I'll reiterate that. Um, we are going to do, we are going to do, Sorry, I'm I'm just I'm zo just let me zone out for a second. Just give me a moment. Okay, good. Uh, we are gonna do, like I said, fully released, fully like good to go, like. Per perfected, you know, in, in the vision of this ROM hack, whatever, uh, uh, Johto. And then we're going to do a, like sort of an expansion for, for crystals or for, for Kanto. So the idea is that like, I'm going to like do kind of like a faster look through Kanto and it's going to kind of be like a very playable version of Kanto, but we're not going to like add a ton of stuff. And then we're going to like so that'll be kind of like if you just want the bare bones Kanto that like Johto is like you can just stick with that version, but we're gonna also add uh, like sort of like I guess you'd call it like a DLC or whatever, um, where basically what you're gonna do is you, you just like swap out your ROM hack and literally ins insert the the ROM if you want. But uh, yeah, essentially. Oh, this is Edo by the way. This is Edo number two. Um, anyway, and so basically you'll be able to play like this like enhanced version of Johto that the game the game makers weren't really able to do because they just didn't have the resources for it. So, should be cool. Bro, this guy's good, but Haunter is crazy. Holy. So there's Ido. Nice job, buddy. Yuck, 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 yuck. We love a good protein. Um... All right, so who should I give protein to? Bro, it's the number one rule of streaming. Never tell the chat when you're going to end. I don't know what it is, but it makes people leave. If you ever make any comments of the fact that like, I'm gonna finish at this point or I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't know what that like psychologically why that happens, but like as a streamer, it's just something I notice. Like if I say, I'm not gonna finish it today, people leave. If I say I'm going to finish it today, people also leave. Like you just can't even like let people know that there is like a time frame on this. You just have to like be like, I think you can't like give them anything definitive because it kind of like forces people to stay like, well, I want to see everything that happens. Whereas if you let them know it's going to happen, then like there's almost like a little suspense is gone maybe. I don't know what it is, but um, it's, it's just like an interesting thing. Will the stream end in three seconds? Oh, look at those exec. Oh, those are cool. Electrodes. 
They look so much better than Pokeballs now. Haha. <laughs> Actually, I guess I guess return is kind of the the move, huh? Bro, Togetic is menacing. Togetic is so good. Oh my god. Like, bro, feels like Oh, look at that Murkrow. That's cool too. So there's our thief. Um so we could actually thief them now. Really love to see some of the Space World demo modes. No, 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 no. That is not. No, 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 no. No new Pokemon. Absolutely not. You think we can do this with three Pokemon? Like a. I don't think we have any more revives. Let's let's see if we can do it. Uh. I don't know what he leads with. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with the ground type though. I think it's a wheezing. For our leader, Giovanni, since Dennis Banding Team Rock three years ago, he's been preparing. Oh yeah, so. Okay, so actually, because we're probably gonna change Archer talks about Geo being. Yeah, if you actually had to fight your rival here. Cause that's the thing. You get you get your rival and like Mid, mid, like, like mid, mid tens, and then it's like right after, like it's not far after, and then he's like level twenty there, and then you don't see him till like level forty, and it's just, it's kind of weird. I won't lie, just, I don't know, don't really love it. Um, yeah. So also, by the way, Archer has a slow bro here to suggest his involvement at the slow bro well, so poke well. Uh, that wasn't my suggestion, but someone came up with it. We also gave him a Tauros, which knows frustration. The idea is that uh, he's like making it extra mad to, yeah. Um, he's also got that Houndoom, right? This is good because if any has anyone been here since the Slowpoke well, type one if you've been here since the Slowpoke well, type two if you've been here the entire time since the start of the stream, and type three if uh, you've got here after like like after Bugsy. This is not crystal clear. This is my own ROM hack. Check out the check out the channel. Subscribe. Watch our videos if you want to know more. What's up? Okay, so I have one Pokemon now. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Can Togetic? Can Togetic? Can Togetic do it? All right. I see, I see a lot of threes. But there's some twos here. And so twos have been here the entire time. God damn. It's a couple ones. A couple ones. But yeah, a lot of twos, man. Been here the whole time. Whew. My goodness. A lot of threes. Listen, we love threes. It's okay. You can't make it for everything. I'm not going to hold it against you. You're living life. I get it. But that's amazing. Now, I've also been here the whole time, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got a uh, big fight, and then, ladies and gentlemen, we have two more gyms coming up here. All right, Togetic. Can Togetic solo? Here we go, here we go. Ariana. This is area is actually a challenge now. Yeah, we buff those levels. Also, level curve feels so good through here, uh, going the eastern route. Like I feel like we're curving really well. Um, what if I hit it with a charm? Hit that berry. Oh, look at that charm paying dividends. This is a, this is a battle of attrition. Oh, the crit! I don't think we're gonna live. I think we gotta... I think we're gonna have to hit a heal. But to be fair, it's a single Pokemon, so I, I, I don't feel too bad. Let's go for a fly. Okay. Um, one thing, just to talk about the Elite Four. We actually got rid of Karen's Tyranitar, guys. Um, so... 
I always wanted Karen to have a Tyranitar, and then I finally gave her one, and I fought her on the last street, street which you can go watch, and it, it just felt wrong. Um, I don't know what it was, but like I was like, man, Tyranitar just doesn't look like it belongs here. So I actually went back and I completely, I, I put her team back exactly as is. So she, she has the exact same team you know her to have. The reason why I did that is Karen, everyone said, and I was like, dang, you're all right. Karen's whole thing is winning with the Pokemon you like. Um... It's just kind of the reality of, of who she is. And, you know, that's her team. That's the team Karen chose. So what I did to fix Karen is I gave her the filthiest move set possible. Um, so, yes, she learns. She loses Tyranitar. I know. everyone. I know everyone's so sad about Tyranitar. But, bro, that thing just looks wrong on her team. It just, it just, it, 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 it's green. The rest of, like, all her Pokemon have a dark feel. Vileplume is it's weird but because of who karen is it makes sense the other thing is we gave the rival a tyranitar and back-to-back -back tyranitars kind of like mitigates the, the purpose and the sort of like weight that uh weight that like the rivals has like dirty tactics exactly dude karen is a menace now like she's got like i think she's got double team baton pass umbreon um just just to to name a single thing like she's good okay like honestly i kind of feel like she's better than she was with the tyranitar because tyranitar is an easy one shot um just seems more rock than dark that's exactly it and while vile plume is a grass type like if you look like it's it's design is is very dark looking and tyranitar's green just looks really awkward on it in my opinion so i'm actually like very much like loving karen's team and i think we are going to be in a rest fight so let's swap lantern here and kill this thing before it has a chance to ruin my day Yeah, Brock's going to have a Tyranitar, though. Brock will have a Tyranitar, just if you're wondering. Um, absolutely, Brock needs a Tyranitar. Uh, and the rival will have a Tyranitar. Yeah, there's no battle with a Tyranitar. I'm surprised they didn't even give one to Brock. Because they gave Brock the fossils. So it's like it's actually quite shocking they didn't give him Tyranitar. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think Karen had the most memorable Elite Four team. I, th I think, like, like that being the only team that doesn't get a change, it feels okay. Be <laughs> um, God damn. It feels okay because it's such a memorable team. Like, it's very iconic. The problem with Karen is that her moves just sucked. Like, I, I, if you've been here, you've heard me talk about this before. But, dude, her Gengar had Lick, Spite, Confuse Ray, and Mean Look. Like, Morty's Gengar was actually significantly better. Like, Morty's Gengar might be able to beat Karen's, despite, like, the like the 15 to 20, like, level gap. Um, Because Morty's Gengar had a good move pool, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're very excited about we're very excited about about Claire, karen's new team um okay so guys that is that is everyone here we've got price followed back to back with 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 uh with with jasmine we're gonna go jasmine's actually chat let me know what do you guys want would you like to do jasmine as jim i think the last time we played we did jasmine as six so I asked you this, but I'm actually going to say we're going to do, we're here, we're going to do Price as six, and then we're going to do Jasmine seven. I think that feels best for me. So this guy leads with a Cloister. Um, we kind of have the perfect, the perfect counter. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm sorry I asked you, 
but, but price we haven't done as six yet, so. I think you did price six. No, because we came this way um, and we did Chuck seven. So I think we would have done here and then gone over. Actually, I think you're right because we came this way. So we would have done price Chuck Jasmine. So it would have been Jasmine seven. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. The people, the people are getting what they want. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, that was a good call. Okay. So... Yeah, it's Jasmine six. Okay, okay. So that changes the plan a little bit. Um, she's gonna lead with a skirmery. So actually, no, it doesn't. We're gonna lead with a with a cool lava. Hey, what's up, Thor? Welcome, welcome, man. Uh, man, Jasmine. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. P trainer here. Trainer here. You could do a back-to-back -back fight in, ja in Jasmine. That could also be something we add later down the road in our, like, expansion. Back-to-back um, -back fight in Jasmine. Yeah, so I, I, I think that's almost like an idea I would implement with the Kanto expansion. I think that's more in line with that update. Yeah, oh yeah, so so Shoal, and, and to anyone wondering, so the stats are actually going to change depending on what order you fight them in. So uh, it's pretty much you're always going to fight Chuck or Price first. Jasmine is just not really a, a fifth gym leader. Um, so depending, like if you fight, whichever one you fight first, you're going to get like low 30s. The second one, the second person you fight, all three of them, because because Jasmine can be trainer six, Price can be six, or or, or Chuck can be six. Um, they're always gonna be, uh, they're always gonna be around thirty five. I think I think they cap at thirty five or thirty six, and then the seventh one, so it can be any three, will cap at thirty eight. So no matter which way you fight them, like they're always gonna scale. Um, one of the things I'm like more proud of of this rom for for doing. Okay, so Jasmine's good. Uh, just as a Jasmine, I think is good. We've given her a Corsola. We've swapped her Ampharos. She used to be a Rock type leader, uh, and Corsola is a uh, is a Rock type that lives like in this area, and she needed a coverage against Fire types. So it was kind of the perfect addition. So yeah, here we go. I'm actually really excited because we did a lot, a lot, a lot of fixing yesterday. So this is this is finally testing out Jasmine, seeing how she feels. So okay, so I think she caps at 36, maybe actually. Oh right, this thing has swagger. Right, 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 right. Um, I actually go for the lantern swap here because I'm gonna resist. Uh, oh, oh, actually, lantern is a bit of a hard wall to scrammer, isn't it? That swagger actually. Someone in the some, one of the playtesters suggested that. I I actually like that because like if you're gonna if you're gonna fight Skarmory, right? It's such a good thing because the weaknesses are uh are, are electric and and fire moves. So like the the benefit of swagger isn't there, but all the downside is. I think it's interesting. Okay, so Magneton is gonna come next. Um, I think we kind of hard wall Magneton. It's gonna go for a rain dance though. Okay. Oh, it goes for the thunder. I think it's gonna go for a rain dance. No, okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not sad. Um, but this thing has rain dance, and oh. So weird to go for try attack. But AI, gen, gen to AI be weird. Anyway, it has rain dance. Um, and it has thunder. Maybe it has rain dance. I actually don't know what it has. Maybe it doesn't have rain dance anymore. Okay, so this is a scary boy because it has swords dance. Lantern has volt absorb. 
so this is what this is this is this is what dreams are made of right here okay for jasmine we do out speed okay if we didn't out speed uh run over <laughs> oh we also kind of set her up like to have two aces so 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 uh steelix and caesar are the same level just a small thing um anyway there's the course law Bro, I think it fits perfectly. It's a rock type. It even has the pink that is in her gym. Like, it's it's so fitting. Um, oh, wait. I'm silly. Hit the spark. Bro, it's pretty bulky now. It's pretty bulky. Um, and now we have Steelix. So... attack went way up. Uh, that might be a Gen 2 thing. It's just so nice to see the hard work pay off. The team building? Quick Claw Steelix. Quick Claw motherfucking Steelix. I love that. I love that. Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, but we outspeed. Yeah. Those EVs, that EV training. Oh, shit. That, that truly, that was beautiful. Quick claw Steelix, bro! Let's go! I, like, I love it. Uh, the other thing, I guess you guys, I, I, I didn't mention this. Uh, her Caesar has a focus band. So there's like a 12% chance if uh, if a, a, any, a move at any level of its HP, if it would kill, it will let it hold on with one HP. So it's kind of like a focus sash, but rather than guaranteed from full HP, it can activate, fr like, like, Caesar could have 20 HP, and you're going to land it with a kill, and it would have, like, a 12% chance to save it. So it always has a 12% chance. So Focus Band is a little different from the Focus Sash. Uh, it also, like, doesn't break. That Jiv looked really... Dude, I really liked that fight. That felt really good to me. Um, I think, like, even with a Fire type, it was still a challenge. Um... You gotta watch, like, I think the thing is, between Caesar and uh, Steelix, they have two, like, kind of percentage activate items. I think, I think the odds are, is they're gonna get one of, one of those things are going to activate at least once in the fight, and, like, it's going to screw you up, because you're going for, like, the one shot on the Caesar, it hits a Swords Dance... And all of a sudden, it's got one HP, and like it just is now capable of one-shotting your whole team. I think there's like a lot of interesting things here. I've seen someone they actually got the back-to-back -back activation on the on the Quick Claw. And it killed. I think it killed their fastest Pokemon, and then they just got swept. So, uh, you know, there's that. Like, there's, there's some fun stuff on that team. Like, and I gotta say, Ampharos. While I liked Ampharos on that team, that made a whole lot more sense for me. Now, here's the thing. You fight that, and then you're back-to-back -back into price, and it's two levels higher. With Jasmine, it would go from level 30 to 35. So it's actually not as much of a gap, but now price is going to be 38. So this is actually like, bro, we fought all the trainers we possibly can. I'm like level 37. The game picks up, and then... You're gonna have like the ra the radio tower and a lot of lot of trainers up to clear for it to like balance back out. But gym seven is definitely like a, a bit of a difficulty spike. Anyway, so this man is leading Cloister. Uh, Lantern is a beautiful counter. It's probably gonna get spikes out, but we'll see. No, it's dead. Oh yeah, we forgot to evolve Rocky.
Uh, I think Corsola does get s Spike Cannon. I don't know if... That Corsola definitely should. It definitely should. Yeah, it, it's just to give a little bit more consistency. Um, okay, so Sneasel. Sneasel Sneasel's a bit of a menace. Um... Bro, still running Rocky is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, not, not. Uh oh. That is not what I meant to click. Yeah, that's a that's a dead boy right there. <laughs> I like Sneasel with Blizzard. It's just like a really, really high power attack move. The one thing going for price seven is you can evolve your Typhlosion if you want, if you're level capping. Nice. TMs will not be reusable, but there are going to be more available to purchase. Oh yeah, and Dark Type is yeah, Dark Type is physical. Uh, well, I don't think there's a lot else that Quilava can do, so we'll hit it with a Flame Wheel, let it die. Um, now, if I had a Steelix for this fight, which I could have, I think this would be easier. But I think we'd still be running into some issues. Uh, that's fortunate. We got the paralysis. Uh, Confuse Ray. I would, yeah. Okay, so Jinx is up next. Uh, this is something like we need a safe swap. Cause, cause that's a that's a kill for us, but but it can kill us, right? So maybe we'll just hit a spark and oh god damn, oh hit the confuse ray, hit the surf, okay. Haunter's got the outspeed. There's the shadow ball. Yeah, I'm I'm ex very excited for this to drop. I'll definitely do a video explaining how to uh, how to do the the the, the ROM because like um, obviously like you can't just distribute like ROMs like you guys will have to acquire uh, your own version of Crystal legally. Um, but basically, it's like it's like an IPS patch or UPS patch or whatever. Um, it's not super complicated, but there is a little bit. So I'll make a video explaining how to do that. Um, this thing has earthquake. <laughs> Out speed? Yeah, bro. What's wrong with that? Yeah, okay. So yeah, like Yuri, like you understand. He says like, like, yeah, legally. Thank you. Like, like he says, uh, haha, legally. Yeah, sure. So like he's going to get his like legally, obviously. And then um, like he gets it. And then... Uh, yeah, it's, that's pretty simple. Um, bro, that blizzard be hitting hard. Um, yeah, so I mean, that part is kind of yours to figure out on your own. Um, I can't really help you with that. I have my copy, but like, you know. Anyway, um, and then you just you apply a patch onto it, so you're just changing like, it's like kind of a, a workaround that modders have found, just because like you obviously can't distribute uh, copy of this game to people so yeah should have should have encore when he used earthquake um oh would it work like that oh i didn't even think about that for some reason i was like he's gonna use blizzard and then right but it's the move he used last oh that would have been so smart i just i wasn't thinking how encore works yeah that would have been 999 iq all right, there's the icy wind. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, check this out, okay? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Get ready, okay. Um, isn't there someone here that sells stuff? Uh huh. Huh.
If it used Earthquake. No, but it had Blizzard. It had Blizzard. Anyway, I just... No, I know how good Encore is. I just, like, I, I, I understand. Oh, she appears later. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so we get Rocky after the radio tower. Gotcha. Guys, that is our time. Um, if you want to see how the rest of this ROM hack will play out, um, roughly speaking, there are a few changes we made to the Leap 4. There is a there is a, a video, the last live stream. You can go check that out. I'll just link it to you because I know some of you are lazy. Um, if you want to go watch it, um, it, it will give you a pretty good idea of the rest of the game. Um, but basically the changes are Koga has a quillfish now and Karen has a has a has a vile plume instead of Tyranitar. Anyway, what's up, Sniper? Much love everyone. I really appreciate you all coming out. Um you wanna know give Lapras to Claire. Maybe you can go watch that live stream. Maybe you can go see what Claire has. Anyway. Guys, that was the biggest stream we've done on the channel. ROM hack is feeling really good. Like, I don't have a lot of notes to change here this run around, so it feels good. Team was feeling good. I really, really like everything. Um, feeling really good. Just uh, feeling the support. Much love, dude. We're, we're, we're in a good spot now. So I will see you guys later. Peace.